The story begins early in the morning in a huge country villa, a young girl with dark hair has just woken up after a deep sleep. Suddenly she notices a man in the bed next to her, and from the expression on her face it becomes clear that she is very surprised by his presence. It turned out that the heroine does not remember at all how she ended up here and who the person next to her is, as if she had seen him for the first time. Having come to her senses a little, the beauty began to remember the events of last night, when bandits began to harass her in one of the nightclubs. There were several villains, the girl tried to resist, but the hooligans did not listen to her and ordered her to be obedient when one of them was about to rip off the heroine's shirt. A stranger suddenly burst into their room, most likely it was the same man with whom the heroine woke up in bed, he kicked down the door. The crowd of scoundrels immediately drew attention to him, from their reaction it became clear that the sudden guest was their main boss. With tears in her eyes, the girl began to beg the man for help, she was in despair and believed that this was her last chance to leave here unharmed. But despite all her requests, the mysterious stranger reacted very coolly, he remained silent and seemed to be waiting for a more opportune moment. In the end, the villains decided that they could do whatever they wanted with the defenseless captive, because their boss was not going to help her in any way. After some time, the man suddenly turned to the heroine and asked what she could offer in exchange for his help, he just didn't intend to do anything. At this moment, the beauty was so desperate that she was ready for any conditions, she would do everything that an influential person asked her to do. To her great regret, even after this the stranger did not want to take any action, he simply turned around and was about to leave. After which one of the hooligans with an arrogant and vile expression on his face was going to continue his depraved actions, the boss would never help such a nonentity. In the end, the girl was so worried that she simply started screaming with all her might, the mysterious stranger was her only chance of salvation. For some reason, these words greatly influenced the boss, he stopped abruptly and grabbed one of his charges by the head. After which he threw it over himself with all his strength, the hero was so strong that he managed to make such a throw with just one hand. As a result, the beauty was saved, the man took her in his arms and was going to take her to his home, while he looked absolutely unshakable. This is exactly how the heroine ended up in the billionaire's house, but why did they end up together under the same blanket, did that really happen? Suddenly the man opened his eyes and asked his guest what she was looking at so carefully, apparently his face was so beautiful that it was difficult to look away. These words greatly embarrassed the heroine, she tried to get out of bed and leave the mansion as soon as possible, she no longer wanted to be here. However, the owner of the house was not going to just let the beauty go, because in the end they had an agreement and now she must pay for her salvation. Quite quickly, the heroine understood what the influential boss was hinting at, but she was definitely not one of those who was ready to sleep with a stranger. Therefore, the girl asked to pay off her debt in some other way, in response to which the man agreed and demanded 10 million from her. At first, the beauty thought that the owner of the house was simply mocking her, but he himself seemed to be serious, now the guest must take a change of clothes from the closet. Soon they should meet on the ground floor and discuss their agreement, because the hero takes any transactions in which he takes part very seriously. His house looked incredibly rich, the most expensive interior elements were everywhere, the whole room glowed with luxury and prosperity. After some time, the heroine came down to him, in the dressing room she could only find very short pajamas, so she had to put them on. The owner of the house was delighted when he saw her and asked her to speed up, especially since she only needed to sign the document, he had already done it himself. As soon as the girl read the terms of the contract, she immediately became furious, because if she signed it, she would literally turn into a stranger's slave. But in the end she had to agree, because the girl still promised to do anything, and now it is no longer possible to change the conditions. After that, the owner of the house threw the keys to his house in her direction and asked her to look after the mansion while he was on a business trip. Tomorrow the billionaire should be in England, he hopes that his guest will not run away and will take her duties as the manager of the mansion responsibly. At the same time, the heroine herself did not intend to linger here, she was going to escape at the first opportunity, as soon as the owner of the house left. Seeing the sly expression on the girl's face, the man understood what was on her mind, so he reminded her what the consequences would be if she violated the rules of the contract. The heroine did not at all expect such a reaction and began to panic greatly, she made excuses and claimed that she had no intention of leaving anywhere. 
Now the billionaire did not have time to discuss such trifles, because he was already late, as a result, the hero said goodbye to his guest and asked her to be obedient. When the beauty heard these words, she suddenly felt uneasy about whether it was because of a random coincidence that she had become a servant to a stranger. On the way to the airport, the man tried to understand whether the heroine really didn't remember him, it became obvious that they had met before. It turned out that about six years ago she exchanged marriage with a billionaire for 10 million, and after that she also managed to forget the hero. The girl, meanwhile, was sitting on a luxurious sofa and trying to come up with an escape plan, but she still didn't want to stay here for long. After this, the events move six years ago to a small hotel in Provence, where the heroine, whose name is Sue Emmo, celebrated her 18th birthday. All her close friends gathered at the table and everyone congratulated the birthday girl on her birthday, she was surrounded by love and care. There was also one special guest present who brought the girl a huge gift and wished her to always look like she was 18 years old. His name was Jiang, he was a tall and attractive young man with dark hair, he and the heroine clearly have feelings for each other. After all, the girl was very happy about his gift, a very wide and sincere smile appeared on her face, and she thanked the guy for the gift. Unfortunately, that night was the last before Su Mo's life was completely turned upside down, her happy and carefree everyday life ended. The next day, she slept for a very long time and did not suspect anything, suddenly she was awakened by a loud knock on the door, Jiang came to visit her. It turned out that the guy wanted to take care of his girlfriend and brought her her favorite porridge for breakfast, suddenly he was shocked by what he saw. His lover was lying in the hotel room completely without clothes, from some details it became clear that she was with another man. Because of this, the young man could not come to his senses for a long time, only after a while he asked Su Mo in a quiet voice what she did that night. And the heroine, in turn, was no less shocked, the girl tried to remember recent events, she had too much alcohol and doesn't remember anything. Was she really so drunk that she confused a stranger with her lover? it didn't fit in her head. Su Mo sincerely believed that she went to the hotel room with Jian, even now she could not fully realize how much she had made a mistake. Because of this whole situation, the guy was very upset and furious, there was no way they could sleep, because he left much earlier. And while leaving, the guy noticed how the birthday girl was chatting with some unfamiliar man who had been courting her all evening and behaved very obscenely. After this, Su Mo had no doubt about her betrayal she really made a terrible mistake and betrayed her loved one. In the end, the girl had no choice but to ask Jiang for forgiveness, she drank too much and simply did not understand how it all happened. The heroine literally begged the guy to forgive her, but he was very categorical and did not want to listen to her, but instead pushed his ex fiance aside. In fact, Jiang always thought that he and the heroine could be together, but after such an act, he would never be able to forgive her. Soon the guy simply turned around and left the hotel room, at some point tears flowed from his eyes, but he tried not to show it. And Su Mo burst into tears with all her might, it was the worst day of her life, more than anything the girl wanted someone to be close to her. A few days later, the girl wanted to find her lover and apologize to him, but he was not in the men's dormitory where he lived. As a result, the heroine decided to return to her home, she packed her suitcase and headed to the airport while Su Mo continued to think about Jiang all the time. Her lover treated her very well, always prepared her favorite food and invited her for walks around the city, they were always supposed to stay together. When pleasant memories popped up in the heroine's head, she seemed to plunge into a trance, but a sudden phone call brought her to her senses. At first, the girl thought that her fiancé had finally calmed down a little and decided to call her, but in fact it turned out to be her aunt. The woman acted very strangely and asked Su Mo to value her loved ones no matter what, and the girl should always follow her heart. It soon became clear that something strange was happening to my aunt, she never said such sentimental words just like that. After a few seconds, the voice on the phone disappeared, and the heroine was very scared and tried to call an ambulance as soon as possible. The woman's name was Jenna, that night a killer entered her house, the owner of the house was taking a bath at that time and unfortunately died on the spot. That same evening, Su Mo learned terrible news about her relative, an investigation was made and it was possible to find out that a certain woman hired criminals to deal with the heroine's family. Her brother was also injured, 
the pursuers tried to catch him while the guy was driving the car, as a result he got into a serious accident and died. Among other things, now the company, which belongs to the girl's family, is in huge debt, the next morning the police detained all the criminals. Soon the taxi arrived at the airport and the driver asked Sue M.O. to pay for the fare, it turned out that both of the girl's cards were frozen and she had no money at all. At first, the heroine didn't even believe it, because these bank accounts in no way intersected with the company's affairs. Because of all these events, Sue M.O. found herself alone at the airport without money for a ticket, none of her friends could help her, everyone just hung up on the phone. With a feeling of despair, the girl once again dialed Zhang's number, but the guy, as usual, was unavailable, so no one could help her. At the ticket counter, the heroine was refused because she did not have enough money for a ticket, after a while, her behavior began to irritate those around her. The crowd accused the heroine of begging and asked to free up a place in the queue as soon as possible, after all, she was not the only one in a hurry to catch the plane. In the end, Sue M.O. was grabbed by two guards and dragged aside, she tried to resist, but unfortunately her strength was not enough. As soon as the girl was released, she noticed a stranger buying a ticket for the very flight she needed to take home today. This was the same billionaire whom the heroine would meet six years later, with tears in her eyes, she asked the stranger to lend her some money. Sue M.O. also promised the man to give every last penny as soon as she was in her hometown, if they didn't help her now, she would get into trouble. At first, the stranger did not react to the girl in any way, only when she grabbed his hand, he suddenly felt something strange. It turns out that the billionaire was present at the restaurant where the heroine was celebrating her 18th birthday and saw how she communicated with her fiancé. Suddenly, the man turned around and grabbed Su Mo's shoulder with his strong hand, then lifted her off the ground and they walked towards the cash register together. The stranger politely asked the cashier to sell this little beauty a first-class ticket, preferably with their seats next to each other. At the same time, the influential man had an absolutely calm look, because of this the heroine was a little embarrassed, but at the same time she was also glad that someone helped her. In the end, she went to her hometown with an unknown man, the man sitting next to her seemed quite strange to Sue M.O. A few minutes after the start of the flight, the billionaire fell asleep, through his dark glasses one could clearly see how he closed his eyes. Such a moment could not be missed, the girl picked up a pen and wrote her number and contact information on a piece of paper so that the man could find her later. After all, the heroine had to go to the hospital to see her aunt immediately after landing, the thought of Jenna's death haunted her all this time. The billionaire, in turn, saw the girl leave without giving him the money for the ticket, but he took it calmly and was surprised that a representative of an influential family found herself in such a situation. Quite quickly, Sue M.O. was able to get to the hospital, but the staff did not want to give up her relative's body until she paid the bills. Now all the company's problems simultaneously fell on the heroine's fragile shoulders, the board of directors demanded permission to sell all shares. The very next day the organization was worthless and the girl was left with nothing, she had never been so lonely and scared, and besides, none of her friends were going to help. Soon one of the influential investors came to her and asked how Sue M.O. was going to pay off huge debts, the scoundrel tried to feign sympathy. But in fact, it was obvious that he was an absolutely cynical scoundrel. The heroine, in turn, was very alarmed and did not even listen to him. Suddenly the scoundrel put his hand on her thigh and hinted at special services with which the beauty could give away part of the money. The girl did not want to tolerate such a disgusting attitude towards herself and hit the man in the face with all her might, after which she began to cry and ran away. Then Sue M.O. was completely lost, she just ran away in a random direction and didn't understand what to do, the whole world was collapsing right before her eyes. Suddenly the heroine's phone rang, it was an unknown number and she assumed that it was another investor who would demand money from her. Therefore, the girl once again had tears in her eyes and she screamed loudly into the phone asking that they finally leave her alone. But in fact, these were not collectors, it turned out that the same billionaire who had bought her a ticket a few days earlier was trying to contact her. The man invited her to a cafe called Queen Street, Sue M.O. should come there after lunch, they need to discuss something important. Immediately after this, the influential man hung up, and the heroine at that moment was even more confused, because she did not know what to expect from the upcoming meeting. Exactly at 3 o'clock in the afternoon, 
the man arrived at the meeting place in a very expensive car, one of the assistants opened the door for him, the boss gave the impression of a very serious person. First of all, the girl wanted to thank the billionaire for his help, she put the money for the ticket on the table and offered to treat her interlocutor to a cup of coffee. However, this is not what the man came here for, because that day at the airport, Sue M.O. promised to do anything, did she really forget about it? This was indeed the case, the heroine is ready to listen to the billionaire's request, but she does not intend to do anything inappropriate. It turned out that the influential man had some troubles, now the girl can help him if they get married. Because of what she heard, the beauty was so surprised that she jumped up sharply from her chair, as a result of which a full cup of coffee spilled on her dress. And the hero, in turn, calmly picked up the napkin and politely extended it toward Sue M.O., from his look it became clear that he was definitely not joking. Despite this, the man's request sounded too strange, the heroine did not want to marry a stranger whom she had only seen a few times. Noticing Su Mo's embarrassment, the billionaire asked her to name his condition, he was ready to give her a reward for their fictitious alliance. Suddenly the girl had an idea, perhaps she had a chance to pay off all her debts at once, she should at least try. Plucking up the courage, the heroine asked an influential man about money in an uncertain voice, she understood that she might be misunderstood. Most likely, the interlocutor will think that Sue M.O. is an ordinary call girl, but now she does not have time to think about such trifles, first of all she needs to solve the problem. After a short pause, the billionaire looked at the heroine with a predatory look and asked what specific amount we were talking about, he needed an exact figure. At this moment, the girl, feeling a sense of shame, said that she needed 10 million, but this was not a random number, exactly that much was needed to pay off the debt. The beauty also promises to return the full amount as soon as she has the opportunity, but now her fate is under great threat. The hero, in turn, reacted quite calmly. He was only a little surprised that, as usual, the stranger suddenly demanded so much money from him. Meanwhile, rumors had already begun to circulate around that Sue M.O. had sold herself, some even thought that she thought too much of herself. After that, the man simply silently stood up and left, it is still difficult to say what decision he will ultimately make. On the way to the rented room, the girl was lost in her thoughts, if she had not found herself in such a terrible situation, she would never have asked a stranger for money. However, at the same time, Sue M.O. was outraged by the billionaire's reaction, because he himself asked her to do an absolutely crazy thing, who would even suggest a stranger to enter into a fictitious marriage. About a month later, the heroine again received a call from an unfamiliar number, this time the man asked her to come to the Civil Affairs Bureau and also take her passport with her. This was definitely the same influential man, he still hadn't even told the girl his real name, did he really accept her condition? A few hours later, the heroine had already arrived at the right place, the billionaire's lawyer, whose name was Han Zi, met her first, they should hurry up. After all, the man was already sitting at the table waiting for his future wife, he was smoking a cigarette and was already thinking about what he would do after this procedure. Only now did Su M.O. finally find out that the billionaire's name was actually Xiao, and soon she picked up a piece of paper to sign. But this was not even a marriage agreement, it turned out that Mr. Xiao actually wanted to divorce the girl immediately after the conclusion of their union. And if the heroine does everything right, then the man will pay her the very 10 million that she asked him for, while she needs to keep everything secret. Now Su M.O. has a real chance to pay off all her debts at once, she has lost everything except the good name of her family. In the end, the girl, with tears in her eyes, agreed to do what Mr. Xiao asked her to do, and on this day they divorced a minute after the wedding. The rest of those wishing to get married watched what was happening with great anticipation, no one believed that the newlyweds really loved each other. The employee of the institution noticed the sad expression on Su Mo's face and decided to ask her whether the bride really agreed to sign of her own free will. However, the hero didn't even give her time to answer. He walked up to the table with a menacing look and loudly put his pen on it, all the papers were signed, nothing could be changed. After this, Mr. Xiao silently turns around and leaves, his every action indicating that he does not care at all about the girl's feelings. And the heroine herself wanted to ask the man something, so she apologized to the employee and politely informed her that she should also leave. When the girl ran out into the street, Han Zi stopped her right in front of the billionaire's car, 
He asked the beauty to calm down and handed her an envelope. It contained a check with the required amount, among other things, Mr. Xiao persistently asked Su Mo to leave this city as soon as possible and forever. As a result, the heroine was left alone with an envelope in her hands, too many strange and terrible events have happened to her lately. But fortunately, everything should end soon, because now Su Mo has money to pay off her debts, after which she will be able to start a new life. Banking procedures took a few more weeks, since the heroine promised Mr. Xiao to leave the city, there was nothing else holding her here. And she decided to move to another place, at the same time the girl still could not forget her lover, whom she had lost because of her own stupidity. Su Mo very often looked at the photos on her phone where she was with Jian, that happy page of her life may have been lost forever. At the same time, joyful memories constantly popped up in the heroine's head, in which she and her boyfriend walked through a huge field of flowers. The lover always said that he would never leave the girl for anything, he was going to make her a real princess and take care of her for the rest of her life. Unfortunately, after that incident, Jian never called Su Mo, although he knew very well about all the troubles that happened to the heroine. It turned out that she went to his house after not finding a guy in his dorm, but the guard asked the girl to leave because the young master was busy. Was he really so offended that he didn't even want to see Su Mo, which is why she decided to return home from France back then. She returned to her native country only six years later, she was met at the airport by a good friend whose name was Lu Xiaoqi, they had known each other since school. The friends immediately hugged each other and talked about how much they missed each other, the girls really had last seen each other for a very long time. And Lu Xiaoqi, by the way, was able to build a successful career during this time, she drove an expensive car and invited Su Mo to the most luxurious club in their city. After some time, a friend asked the heroine why she had not answered her calls and messages for six years, it was impossible to contact her. In fact, Su Mo couldn't tell the whole truth, so she just made up a little story, and she also hopes that she won't have any problems. After all, that day Mr. Xiao recommended that the girl never return, but it is unlikely that after such a long time the man will remember her. After that, the friends went to a nightclub and ordered a drink, suddenly Lu Xiaoqi's phone rang, she apologized and went to a quieter place. It turned out that Han Zi was also present in this establishment, he noticed that the heroine's friend was from a very influential family, so he became interested in her companion. The man looked at Su Mo for several minutes to finally make sure that this was exactly the girl. Mr. Xiao himself was also here. He was sitting in a special room in the company of several beauties, in fact, this is his favorite club. The hero's lawyer immediately reported to him that their old friend was present in the main hall, and in any case they would have to do something. The billionaire even had Su Mo's number, he decided to try to call her first, but she didn't pick up the phone. It was then that the heroine was attacked by a crowd of villains, some of them were Mr. Zhao's wards, after which the man saved her. Also, from the words of Han Zi, you can find out that the heroine was hunted by a certain bandit with the nickname Yellow Scar, but now this does not matter. After this, events returned to the moment when Mr. Xiao was driving his car to the airport, he could not understand how Su Mo managed to forget him. Suddenly his phone rang, it was Lu Xiaoqi's brother, who is also an influential man, he thanked the billionaire for helping his sister's friend. And the hero, in turn, told the guy that very soon the girl would be able to return, they just needed to settle one small matter. In fact, the man just now found out that his guest knows someone from the very rich Lu family, perhaps she is not as simple as she might seem at first glance. Meanwhile, the heroine herself was still trying to come up with an escape plan, she wanted to tie several sheets together and use them to climb down from the window. Su Mo has been gone all night, Lu Xiaoqi is probably worried about her, so she needs to get out of the trap as soon as possible. At some point she thought that this was all a punishment for returning to the city, perhaps she was really to blame for what was happening. It turned out that the girl recognized the billionaire immediately after she saw him in the nightclub, she just decided that it would be better to pretend to be stupid. By now Mr. Xiao should be far from the mansion, soon the heroine is going to fly back to France, after which they will never see each other. Suddenly Su Mo remembers one detail. It looks like she lost her bag with all her documents and bank cards, she won't be able to buy a ticket. Because of this, the girl began to panic, would she really have to live here now, she would prefer to simply disappear. 
Soon a man approached her, whose name was John Chow, he is the assistant to the owner of the house, the master instructed him to look after the guest. By the way, the heroine had an improvised rope made of sheets in her hands all this time, she, with an embarrassed look, tried to hide it behind her back, but she didn't do it very well. Now Su Mo decided that she was done for, apparently she had finally fallen into a trap and so far she had no options for escape. The house manager, in turn, behaved calmly and simply gave the girl her red handbag, after all, she did not lose it, Mr. Xiao just decided to keep the item. Suddenly the girl had hope of salvation, she smiled awkwardly and thanked the man, she really needed the documents now. However, inside the small bag there were only cosmetics, there were no personal items there, John Chow explained that everything was lost in yesterday's chaos. It was very cruel, Su Mo even cried a little, once again the chances of salvation were zero, so that the heroine could stay in touch, the billionaire bought her a new phone with contactless payment, and a certain amount was also transferred to her account. This act of the hero quite surprised the girl, because she always believed that he was just a scoundrel who wanted to mock and humiliate her. First of all, the beauty decided to call her friend, because she was probably worried, after all, Su Mo literally disappeared from that establishment. It turned out that Mr. Xiao personally ordered his assistant to take the girl's personal belongings and keep a close eye on her, she would definitely want to escape. From the outside, the situation looked rather strange, because the billionaire had numerous fans who might misunderstand everything. Soon the girl got through to Lu Xiaoqi, her friend really didn't sleep all night because of anxiety, she wanted to personally come and take Su Mo home right now. However, the heroine did not want to drag anyone else into this situation, she asked Zhan Chao to call a taxi, but the manager said that this was impossible. If the guest really wants to meet someone, then the man can personally take her to the right place, such instructions were given to him by the owner of the house. After some time, the friends met in a nearby cafe, Lu Xiaoqi immediately noticed Su Mo's strange behavior, she even had a kiss mark on her neck. This situation infuriated the girl from an influential family so much that she decided with her own hands to punish the arrogant scoundrel who dared to offend the heroine. But in fact, everything was completely different, the beauty tried to explain to her old friend what happened, Mr. Xiao saved her from the villains in the nightclub. Immediately after this, Lu Xiaoqi calmed down a little and stopped, she agreed to ignore everything this time, but if he did something like that again, the man will regret it very much. Su Mo did not want to talk about his marriage with a billionaire, perhaps this would bring danger to his friend. Lu Xiaoqi knew that the person who saved the heroine is very influential, even her brother behaves very carefully with him, and this says a lot. Suddenly, the girl had a slight feeling of anxiety, she guessed that Mr. Xiao was a very serious person, but apparently she didn't know everything yet. Now she wanted to fly back to France even more, she told her friend about this, Lu Xiaoqi can help, but it will take some time. And now she has a gift for the heroine, earlier she promised to introduce her to one guy, she will definitely like him. In response to this, Su Mo became embarrassed and replied that she was not ready now, but her friend insisted, because this person is her brother's friend and is very reliable. In fact, she no longer has a choice, because the guy is already here, a rather tall young man appeared at the other end of the corridor. He really looked very attractive, he had long black hair and handsome features, and a formal suit complemented his pleasant image. In order not to disturb her friend, Lu Xiaoqi decided to leave them alone, she apologized and said that she had other things to do. Because of this, the heroine became even more embarrassed, her face turned red and her voice began to tremble, she asked not to be left alone with the stranger. However, it was already too late, the handsome man's name was Lan Fengcheng, he politely introduced himself and asked the girl to give her name. At that moment, Su Mo changed her behavior a little, the guy seemed so pleasant to her that she calmed down and began to trust him. At the same time, it was not clear to her why such an attractive man agreed to a blind date, he probably already had a lot of fans. For the first few minutes, the acquaintances sat in silence, the heroine tried to come up with a topic for conversation, but nothing worked for her, because of this she began to feel shy. In an attempt to break the awkward silence, the girl said something stupid, she asked if her interlocutor knew Lu Xiaoqi, the answer was already obvious. 
Despite this, Lan Fengcheng reacted very calmly and told how he and her friend met, it happened a long time ago. Also, the guy couldn't believe that such an impulsive girl had such a sweet friend as the heroine, these words embarrassed the beauty even more. As a result, the interlocutors simultaneously laughed at the slightly ridiculous dialogue, the guy with long hair found the interlocutor very amusing. Suddenly, Su Mo's phone screen lit up, it was an urgent news message, somehow Mr. Xiao managed to make the headlines of all the newspapers. The man was photographed together with a famous actress, the heroine could not believe that such a fool really gained enormous popularity. At the same time, she was a little happy, because now Su Mo was sure that the billionaire was not really very interested in her. By chance, Lan Fengcheng also noticed photos on the girl's phone screen, he asked her about meeting Mr. Xiao. When this happened, Su Mo quickly hid her phone and lied, saying that she had never met such an influential person. Soon the heroine apologized and said that she needed to go to the restroom, her behavior clearly hinted that she was happy about the news about the billionaire. After a while, Lan Fengcheng also received a call, it turned out to be Lu Xiaoqi's brother, he asked him about the heroine, as well as about their date together. The man warned the guy with long hair to stay away from this girl, because she already belongs to someone else. And this man is incredibly powerful, it's better not to get involved in this matter, in fact, the handsome man already knew who he was talking about, his new acquaintance is clearly dating Mr. Xiao. Going to the restroom, Su Mo first washed her face to recover a little, now she already has too many problems, she can't fall in love with anyone. After all, first you need to get the strange relationship with the billionaire out of your head as quickly as possible, in the end, you need to learn from your mistakes. Nevertheless, Lan Fengcheng seemed to the heroine to be a very decent and sweet person, so she needs to firmly and clearly answer him, refusing so as not to give false hopes. Also, the girl could already imagine her friend's reaction, Lu Xiaoqi would probably be very angry when she found out that she rejected such a good man. Su Mo suddenly ran into another girl while she was walking down the corridor, she was so lost in her thoughts that she was completely unaware of those around her. After a few seconds, the heroine realized that the stranger was actually her old friend, whose name was Meng Xiao, and with a smile on her face, she extended her hand to her. However, the girl with pink hair reacted very coolly, she simply turned around and said that she was most likely confused with someone. In fact, there could be no mistake, Su Mo is 100% sure that the girl they just accidentally bumped into is her classmate. It is possible that Meng Xiao harbored a grudge against the heroine for some unknown reasons, she flatly refused to talk to her. There was also another person present here, it was a guy in a business suit, who called the girl with pink hair by name and called her over to him. It was none other than Jiang, Su Mo's ex fiance was standing right in front of her, could she and her classmate be dating now? At first, the girl didn't even fully believe that this was exactly the person she was thinking about, so she wanted to come closer and touch him. However, she didn't succeed, because Meng Xiao quickly grabbed her boyfriend's hand and apologized for the wait, they should go about their business. Now the heroine finally understood everything, Jian is really in a relationship with someone else, this had a very strong effect on her. At the sight of two young people in love, Su Mo began to really panic, her lover was hugging the other, and did not notice her at all. Soon tears appeared in her eyes, in general, the lovers behaved as if they had never known the heroine at all, this upset her very much. In order to somehow calm down her internal torment, the girl turned to Jiang and asked him not to pretend, because they used to adore each other. However, in response to this, the guy only said that he had never met a girl before, so he had no reason to talk to her. In fact, Su Mo imagined reuniting with her lover many times, most of all she wanted to understand why the guy disappeared during the most difficult times for her. At the same time, the heroine would never have thought that their first meeting after a long period would turn out so terrible, it was as if she was in a nightmare. The girl was lost in her thoughts, suddenly Lan Fengcheng turned to her and asked if everything was okay with her friend, because she looked very sad. At this moment, Su Mo decided to pretend that she and Jiang were actually on good terms, she called him a friend and said that it was time for her to go, after which she sharply turned in the other direction and ran away, even more tears appeared in her eyes, Lan Fengcheng now knew for sure that something was wrong with her. Once on the street, 
The heroine asked her friend for forgiveness for such strange behavior, now she doesn't want to talk about it. Therefore, she is going to return to the hotel as soon as possible, and the guy offered to give her a ride in his car, he just parked nearby. After all, Su Mo is Lu Xiao Qi's friend, if the girl finds out that Lan Fengcheng left her alone in a bad mood, she will probably get angry. Sitting in the car, the guy was thinking about what he had seen, he was told on the phone that the girl already had a patron, but then who was that man from the restaurant? When the heroine arrived at her room, she immediately wanted to take a shower, she still couldn't stop thinking about Jiang, old memories popped up in her head over and over again. On the phone, Lu Xiao Qi, as expected, began to scold her friend for rejecting a wonderful guy, was he really not handsome enough for her? Suddenly the heroine began to cry, at first her friend thought it was because of Lan Fengcheng, but it was completely different, Su Mo wants to return to France as quickly as possible. At this point the conversation was over, the upset girl hung up and cried a lot, she dreams of never returning to this city again. A few days later, the heroine felt better, she packed her things and headed to the airport, Lu Xiao Qi agreed to help her with tickets. When Su Mo's phone rang, she was sure that it was her friend, but it was Mr. Xiao who called her, who should be in England now. The girl decided simply not to pick up the phone, after a while she began to panic, because no one met her, suddenly some kind of car appeared. It turned out that the billionaire returned from his business trip early, he wanted to teach the heroine a lesson, because she was violating their agreement. At first, the heroine thought that her friend had finally come to pick her up, but when the car drove closer, she realized that it belonged to Xiao Nan. A few seconds later, the driver turned to her and asked her to calmly get into the car, the billionaire ordered him to take the girl back to the mansion. However, Su Mo only exhaled with relief, she was sure that the hero had personally come for her and was going to punish her. In the end, the girl refused the man behind the wheel, she didn't want to stay here for a minute, the employee had better go back and report this to his boss. When the heroine finished speaking, the back door of the car suddenly opened and Xiao Nan came out, looking very angry and furious. At the sight of the man, Su Mo was very frightened, so as not to create unnecessary noise, she covered her mouth with her palm, she wanted to understand why the billionaire returned so much earlier. The girl also understood perfectly well that right now the billionaire wanted to grab her and return her back to his home, so she tried to escape. But Mr. Xiao abruptly grabbed her hand and stopped her, she would never be able to escape so easily, because they still had mutual agreements. Thus, the girl ended up in the back seat of the car, she banged her fists hard on the glass, but she couldn't get out. The hero, meanwhile, was still standing on the street and asked Su Mo to behave more calmly, with her actions she was only making things worse for herself. After that, the car drove straight towards the very nightclub where the recent events took place, the man wanted to teach his guest a lesson. And the heroine, in turn, began to worry even more, she abruptly jumped up and asked Xiao Nan what he needed from her. In response to this, the man was surprised, because in his opinion, the heroine herself perfectly understands that she violated their agreement and now must be punished. At the same time, it was funny for the hero to listen to the girl's indignation about the fact that he himself forced her to sign the papers, she needs to stop acting like a child. With every phrase that came from the man's mouth, Su Mo only became worse, she couldn't believe that the billionaire was such a terrible person. When they arrived at the right place, Xiao Nan once again grabbed the girl's hand and dragged her forward, she still didn't know what was on his mind. Due to severe stress, the heroine called the man a bastard, at that moment he became seriously angry and stopped, it seemed that this really hurt him. As a result, the billionaire opened the nearest door, behind which there was a completely empty room, here Su Mo should spend some time and think carefully about everything. Sitting on the cold floor, the heroine completely despaired and tears appeared in her eyes, now there was no doubt that Xiao Nan was a real monster. Despite all her efforts, Su Mo could not break down the door, she would really have to sit in an empty room until the billionaire took pity on her. Such an act surprised even one of the man's guards, but Xiao Nan ordered all his subordinates not to even think about releasing the heroine ahead of time. The main reason for this decision was that the girl dared to date other men in his absence, in his opinion, she did not deserve any mercy. Several hours of trying to knock down the door greatly exhausted the heroine, and thoughts began to appear in her head that she did not deserve this. 
Why did her peaceful and carefree life turn into a real hell? Su Mo was captured by a scoundrel, and Jiang pretended that they did not know each other. Now, more than anything, she wanted to get out of the prison that Xiao Nan had put her in, the girl didn't even know why she was being treated so badly. When she does manage to be released, the first thing she will do is go back to France, her hometown brings her only pain and suffering. After some time, Su Mo's eyes closed on their own and she lost consciousness, the girl came to her senses in a completely different place. After a few seconds, the heroine realizes that this is Xiao Nan's bedroom, because a familiar chandelier hung on the ceiling, but how did she manage to get here? Suddenly the owner of the house himself turned to her, he lay next to her without outer clothing and was slightly glad that his dear guest had finally woken up. From the girl's reaction, it immediately became clear that the mere sight of Xiao Nan frightened her very much, the billionaire did not fully understand why she was behaving this way. In order to somehow defuse the situation, he explained the motivation for his action, but this did not help and Su Mo still continued to look at him with a cold and frightened gaze. In the end, the man admitted his mistake and apologized to the guests, if he really scared her so much, then it was only his fault. And now the heroine needs to take a thermometer and measure her temperature, because first of all, you need to find out how things are with her health. It turned out that in just a few hours in an empty room the girl managed to catch a pretty bad cold, most likely due to stress. In fact, she slept for almost two days from the moment she lost consciousness, and she also had all the symptoms of a fever. One of the guards watched her around the clock, after looking at the image of one of the cameras, he noticed that the girl was lying and not moving. This situation greatly angered the billionaire, because he ordered everyone to report if any changes occurred to the captive. At the same time, the man was aware that Su Mo was torturing herself, he still could not definitively say whether she remembered him or not. Soon Xiao Nan ran to the room where the girl was to help her, he kicked the door with all his might, every second counted. The heroine looked very bad at that moment, she did not regain consciousness, and her skin was very pale, she needed to go to the hospital as soon as possible. Fortunately, the doctors reported that everything was fine with the girl, she only needed a few days for rehabilitation, after which she would return to her previous life. Soon Xiao Nan was about to go to work, but Su Mo stopped him and said that she wanted to talk to the billionaire about one very important topic. First of all, she wanted to know whether she could go back to France if she gave the man the 10 million that was in the contract. The man answered in a calm voice that, of course, she could get complete freedom as soon as she paid off her bills. However, a slight grin suddenly appeared on his face, it turned out that Xiao Nan had one important condition, but for now he did not want to say what. At that moment, the heroine began to have hope and with an interested face she asked the man what kind of service they were talking about. A second later, the girl became a little embarrassed, because in this way she had driven herself into a corner, she shouldn't behave so pliantly. Despite Su Mo's interest, Xiao Nan does not intend to reveal all the secrets, he is more interested in finding out how exactly she is going to get such a huge amount. The girl's plan was very simple she was going to find a regular job and give the money in small installments, it was only a matter of time. When the owner of the house heard this answer, he laughed out loud, a normal job would take several decades, so he has a counter-offer. The heroine can work for him for exactly one year and her debt will be forgiven, but this is not an ordinary job, she must become the billionaire's mistress. At first, Su Mo thought that Xiao Nan was just joking, but the man was absolutely serious and patiently waited to see how the girl would react. After thinking a little, she answered positively, she really didn't want to do this, but in such a situation she simply has no choice. Soon the billionaire left on his own business, and the girl was left alone, in fact, she was not going to succumb to manipulation, it was too humiliating. A few minutes later, the heroine made another attempt to escape, but she was again stopped by one of the staff. It turns out that Su Mo now has a personal maid named Elaine, who was a young girl with pigtails who politely addressed her guest. It immediately became clear that the owner of the house had ordered one of his maids to look after the heroine, now she was unlikely to be able to remain unnoticed. First of all, Su Mo asked her new assistant to bring her a phone, but it turned out that Xiao Nan forbade her to use any means of communication. At first the girl didn't even believe it, because recently it began to seem to her that the hero was actually not such a bad person, apparently he was still a real monster. 
Why did the man even cling to Su Mo so much? He literally forbids her to do the most basic things that a person needs. In order to somehow pass the time, the heroine decided to watch TV. On the first channel they were talking about a popular star who had recently returned to the city. If the rumors from the news are to be believed, then this woman is dating Xiao Nan, so why did he need to bully his guests so much? At the same time, it was quite difficult not to believe the rumors, because the actress and the billionaire were constantly seen together last year, they themselves deny everything. Suddenly the girl threw the remote control onto the coffee table with all her strength, she wondered why she was even watching this stupid news, it only upset her. Now it's better to just sit quietly in silence and immerse yourself in your thoughts, after a while the heroine realized that she shouldn't blame herself. After all, in the end, she is not to blame for anything and is simply a hostage to the situation, Su Mo only needs to endure one year, after which she will gain freedom. When the hero returned home late in the evening, he noticed that his new mistress had fallen asleep right in the living room, apparently he will have to fix this. He carefully picked her up and carried her to the second floor. It was difficult for him to understand why he was so worried about a girl about whom he knew practically nothing. A few minutes later, Su Mo was already in a soft bed, and Xiao Nan decided to ask her more about that incident a few years ago as soon as she woke up. He wanted to understand why an ordinary girl needed as much as 10 million, she didn't look like a money hunter at all, he needed to figure it out. The man was so worried about the heroine that he decided to stay next to her for a while longer, he lit a cigarette and sat down on a chair. This situation really looked funny, one of the most successful people in the country wasting his precious time taking care of some stranger. Soon morning came and the girl opened her eyes, at first she felt a little lost and did not get up, as she found herself in a bed on the second floor. When the heroine went out into the corridor, she did not meet anyone, walking a little further, she heard a loud conversation coming from the man's office. Su Mo became very interested and decided to listen to what Xiao Nan was saying, but it was very difficult to understand the essence of the dialogue. For a few seconds, the heroine lost her vigilance due to a strong sense of curiosity, suddenly the front door opened and she flew forward, after which she collided with the hero's hard chest, a little indignation appeared on his face and he asked the girl what she was doing here. At this moment, Su Mo was so confused that she was literally speechless, tears appeared in her eyes and she decided to just lie. The girl said that she was looking for a man, this answer angered Xiao Nan even more and it seemed that he would now start cursing. However, the expression on his face suddenly changed to calm, this is exactly what his mistress should do, she has finally recovered and has a lot of energy. After this, Su Mo was finally able to breathe a sigh of relief, she confirmed that her health was already in perfect order. Suddenly the man stopped and looked at the heroine, the beauty's gaze seemed very sweet to the hero and he decided to take the first step. Having sharply approached the girl, he touched her face with a gentle movement of his hand, which is why she was a little surprised and tried to understand what Xiao Nan was trying to do. In fact, the billionaire decided that since his mistress was already feeling well, she needed to begin her duties as soon as possible. The hero's behavior seemed too aggressive to Su Mo, when she agreed to her new job, she did not think that everything would go so far. Soon the man got tired of waiting and tried to take off the girl's dress, Xiao Nan wanted to teach her on his own what a loving woman should do. Only at that moment did the heroine finally understand what the billionaire was inclining her to, but she absolutely did not want to do such things. Therefore, she tried to push the hero away from her, while Su Mo asked to take his hands off her, they should rush things so much. Despite all the girl's efforts, the billionaire was incredibly determined, he pressed her even harder and asked if she really hated him so much. Suddenly the heroine finally realized that there was no point in resisting, because she had to live with Xiao Nan for another whole year in the same house. Sooner or later, the man will still achieve his goal, so it's better to just go with the flow, Su Mo just closed her eyes and turned away. She had an absolutely empty look and a lost look, if right now the hero takes the next step, he is guaranteed to make her his. But for some reason the man stopped at the very end, he was too upset by the girl's tears, he could not look at them for long. As a result, the hero got angry and went to the bathroom, it was unbearable for him to be next to the heroine, he wanted to go to the bathroom and take a shower. Standing under the cold shower, he thought about his feelings and why Su Mo was forcing him to behave this way, 
as if she was deliberately creating problems for him. No matter how hard he tries, he fails to act ruthlessly towards her, is the heroine really special? Meanwhile, the girl could not believe her luck, now she was safe at least for a while, for some reason the bastard took pity on her. Suemo also decided to take advantage of the moment while the owner of the house was in the shower, she had the opportunity to use his computer. There was very little time, so the heroine quickly went to the social network and wrote a message to her friend asking for help. As expected, Lu Xiaoqi was worried about Su Mo and tried to contact her on her own, but it was difficult because she was also under house arrest. It turned out that her older brother found out about their plan to escape to France and ruined everything, so Lu Xiaoqi now had to sit at home for several days. While texting with her friend, the heroine got too carried away and did not notice how Xiao Nan returned from the shower, he was already standing right behind her. The girl was a little scared when she heard the question about what she was doing on his laptop, now she will have to come up with some kind of excuse again. So that Lu Xiao Qi would not worry so much, Su Mo lied to her that she had to leave, because she had one very important matter. After which she pretended not to notice the owner of the house, the girl simply lowered her head and went to her room, perhaps the man would leave everything as it was. And the billionaire, in turn, did just that, he felt a little sorry for the heroine and decided to leave her alone, besides, something interested him. His new mistress in a hurry forgot to log out of her email account, now the hero has the opportunity to count all her correspondence. It turned out that, among other things, Su Mo sent her resume to several companies, she clearly intends to repay her debt in another way. However, Xiao Nan had completely different plans, he picked up the phone and called the right people, now the girl would never find a job in this city. Having gone down to the first floor, the heroine felt a strong feeling of hunger, she got up too late and her assistant did not have time to prepare food for her. In order to somehow correct this deplorable situation, Su Mo looked into the refrigerator, maybe she could find something on her own. To her great regret, the huge refrigerator was practically empty, there were only a few bottles of beer and water on the shelves. Among the bottles, only two packs of sweets with the image of a white rabbit stood out, it was funny to imagine the billionaire eating children's sweets. Despite the huge size of the house, there seems to be absolutely no normal food here, suddenly Su Mo had a brilliant idea. A few minutes later, the owner of the house also went down to the first floor, below he felt some strange smell, which seemed slightly unpleasant to him. Looking to the side, the man realized that the heroine had found instant noodles somewhere and was eating them with great pleasure. Her meal was interrupted by Xiao Nan's question, he wondered where the girl found it, it turned out that she planned to eat this portion on the plane. Unfortunately, she only has one piece, if a man wants the same thing, then he better go to the nearest supermarket. However, the hero had other plans, he abruptly snatched the cup from Su Mo's hands, she had not experienced such a strong shock for a very long time. Still, she wants to eat, but there is absolutely no food in this stupid mansion, and Xiao Nan also throws away her instant noodles. In fact, the hero simply did not want the beauty to eat such unhealthy food, he suggested going to a restaurant together to have dinner there. When the girl heard this, she was very surprised, at that moment the man seemed to her to be a rather pleasant person, as if he had been replaced. At the same time, she still didn't want to go anywhere with such a scoundrel, the heroine asked him to stop the car and let her out. Soon the heroes arrived at the place, due to the stale noodles, Su Mo began to feel slightly nauseous, the situation turned out to be very awkward. Fortunately, thanks to the beautiful view of the restaurant, the girl immediately felt better, the pain in her stomach instantly disappeared and she wanted to come closer. Despite the fact that it was the most ordinary day, the billionaire still did not spare money on an expensive establishment, even the waitresses here look special. A few minutes later, several dozen plates of delicious food were already standing in front of Su Mo, her favorite dishes were here. She wanted to start her meal as soon as possible, suddenly two young guys approached them and asked if they could join their dinner. The young man with red hair wanted to introduce his friend and Mr. Xiao, as it later turned out that they had already met before and knew each other. In fact, the second guy was Lu Xiaoqi's brother, whose name is Lu Xiaoqing, despite his young age, he is a very successful person. Immediately after this, the young man received a message from his sister, by coincidence, he met her friend in a restaurant. 
It was she who prevented him from escaping to France, the coincidence turned out to be really funny. During dinner, a guy with red hair asked the billionaire why he didn't go to another country with the famous actress. The heroine immediately realized that we were talking about the same woman who was shown on TV, could she and Xiao Nan really be together? The hero replied that he was just trying to deal with one debtor, so he couldn't go on a long business trip right now. His interlocutor considered this complete nonsense, he himself would give half his life for a romantic trip with such a beautiful actress. At some point, the man got tired of the stupid conversation and wanted to talk about something else, but before that, the billionaire drew attention to Su Mo. She looked slightly confused and did not know where best to sit, the girl had not gone to such establishments for a very long time and felt discomfort. To help the heroine a little, Xiao Nan recommended that she sit right next to him, they shouldn't quarrel in front of strangers, it's better to pretend to be friends. The guy with red hair asked the billionaire about his companion, but the man simply advised him to eat and not be distracted. Also, the hero carefully asked Su Mo all the time whether she was comfortable here, she could not talk to anyone and just have dinner. His behavior surprised the girl more and more, the impression was created that the man really cared about her. Moreover, from the outside it looked exactly like this, the billionaire was flirting with the heroine, and she behaved rather coolly towards him. In response to Xiao Nan's attention, Su Mo told him that she didn't even intend to communicate with anyone, she was very fit and only came here to eat. Moreover, right in front of her stood a huge plate of fried pork chops, this is one of her favorite dishes. Unfortunately, the heroine was quite short, so she could not reach the middle of the table, suddenly someone helped her. At the same time, Su Mo didn't even notice which of her neighbors at the table did it, but a piece of juicy pork still ended up on her plate. Frankly speaking, the heroine was very grateful, she found it hard to believe that such a scoundrel as a hero was capable of such kind gestures. While the girl was thinking about this, her plate was already completely filled with a variety of food, the man did it very cleverly. Su Mo again didn't have time to notice anything, but Xiao Nan was definitely behind this, because the guy with red hair was sitting too far away. In the end, the girl decided that there was no point in worrying, all she needed to be completely happy was a comfortable spoon instead of chopsticks. As soon as she thought about this, a red button nearby lit up, it is used to urgently call service personnel. The waitress arrived within seconds, and Mr. Xiao kindly asked her to bring cutlery, which is usually used in European countries. After several years of living in France, Su Mo had forgotten how to use traditional eating tools, now it was very difficult for her to use chopsticks. It seemed that the billionaire had learned to read the heroine's thoughts, because how else could he so quickly guess what was on her mind? About half an hour later, the girl finished her meal, the dishes were so tasty that she even overread a little. Now it was time for dessert, the waitress in a beautiful red dress brought a plate of Su Mo's favorite caramel pudding. All this could not be a mere coincidence, the heroine became more and more convinced that the man was paying too much attention to her. But most of all, Su Mo was upset by the memories that once again arose in her head, Jiang constantly prepared such a dessert for her. Due to sad thoughts, the girl's mood deteriorated greatly and she began to look lost, even a delicious pudding did not bring her any joy. This behavior angered Xiao Nan, because today he did a lot for his mistress, but at the same time she still looks unhappy. After some time, the guy with red hair invited the man to play their favorite game, but the billionaire was not very interested in it. Then the young man tried to blackmail him, because if Xiao Nan did not agree, then his impeccable reputation could suffer. This method worked just perfectly, the hero suddenly stood up from the table and loudly hit the table with his palm, he was ready to start right now. It turned out that the favorite game of rich people is racing in expensive cars, a huge street was even specially blocked for this purpose. Among other things, the racers made their bets, but it was not ordinary money, the loser must give his girlfriend to the winner. Su Mo couldn't believe her ears, is a man really ready to risk her fate for the sake of some kind of race, she didn't want to participate in it at all. Despite the heroine's dissatisfaction, Xiao Nan was determined, his gaze showed absolute confidence and he promised to win. However, such an argument did not impress the girl, how can one even put a human life on the line in some stupid competition? To her great regret, it was already too late to change anything, because the countdown to the start had begun, 
Su Mo was unable to break out. Exactly three seconds later, the billionaire sharply pressed the gas pedal and the expensive car took off, picking up speed incredibly quickly. The racetrack was laid out on a rather dangerous section, this frightened the girl even more and she grabbed the chair in an attempt to hold on. At some point, due to severe stress, she began to feel sick again, if she had known that she would be drawn into such an event, she would not have eaten so much. A few minutes later, the billionaire's car approached the finish line, he actually managed to complete the fastest lap. In addition, for some reason the man did not stop and simply drove on, it seems that he is not interested in receiving his reward from the loser. After that, Xiao Nan took the heroine to a place where he could recover a little, her stomach pain did not disappear, but only intensified. In fact, she felt simply terrible, the hero's polite behavior lulled her vigilance and she forgot how bad a person he was. Meanwhile, Xiao Nan himself was sitting in the car and thinking about why Su Mo returned to the city, after all, she promised never to do this. Deep down, the man understood that he had a grudge against the heroine because she had exchanged marriage with him for money several years ago. Why did the girl then just want to run away? Suddenly the hero came to his senses and realized that he was too fixated on such thoughts. A few minutes later his phone rang. One of his assistants said that the item the billionaire ordered had already arrived in the mail. It was a special phone, Xiao Nan thanked the secretary for the information and asked him for another small favor. When the heroine came to her senses, she returned to the car and went back to the mansion, from her look it became clear that she was very tired today. However, she was unable to sleep, because Su Mo again began to experience a strong feeling of hunger, and in the huge house, as we already know, there is absolutely no food. Suddenly she remembered that near the refrigerator there were candies in the shape of a rabbit, this was certainly not healthy food, but at least it was something. Having opened the refrigerator, the girl discovered that the inside was full of various foods and drinks, was she really hallucinating from hunger? In fact, it doesn't matter now, the heroine first wanted to eat properly, and only then understand the reality of what was happening. She took several bags of chips and went to the living room, finding herself in the middle of a huge empty room, Su Mo was a little upset. After all, she had a feeling of loneliness, last night the owner of the house brought his mistress and left, since then he has not returned. Meanwhile, Xiao Nan was in his office, his assistant was reporting on his assignments, there was a special item inside the package. Even his secretary noticed the strange behavior of the hero, the boss looked nervous and kept throwing his work onto others. Soon morning came, the heroine got out of bed and walked around the house, it turned out that the man had still not returned to his mansion. For Su Mo, this was an excellent opportunity to check her personal email, perhaps one of the employers had responded to her resume. It turned out that her friend wrote to the girl, recommending Lu Xiaoqi not to go to restaurants with Xiao Nan, because he is a real womanizer. The message also talked about Lu Xiaoqi, only now the girl realized that that young guy was actually a relative of her friend. But with work everything was quite sad, not a single company responded to her applications, right at that moment she received a new letter. It was from an organization that the heroine had never heard of before, a representative was ready to meet with her this evening and discuss everything. In fact, the billionaire was behind this, he specifically sent the girl an offer for the position of general manager in his company. However, for some reason the heroine did not show up for the interview, because of this the man began to get very nervous, he constantly looked at his watch. Soon the time allotted for the meeting ended, there were 12 candidates in total, but Su Mo was not among them, she seemed to have disappeared. The billionaire's assistant called the girl several times, but she never answered, unfortunately, they were never able to talk all day. At the same time, Xiao Nan behaved very strangely, until yesterday, the organization was not even looking for a person for the post of general manager, but he was still very worried. Suddenly, the man abruptly stood up from the table and headed towards the exit, he was supposed to have an important meeting and business dinner this evening. But despite this, he simply left, the billionaire instructed his assistant to postpone all matters until tomorrow, he urgently needs to find one person. Once at home, the hero searched every corner for several hours, but the girl was nowhere to be found, had she really tried to escape once again. This was very strange, because all her documents were in one of the desk drawers, there was no way Su Mo could go to another country. 
Also nearby were the keys that Xiao Nan had given her a few weeks ago, perhaps this way she wanted to show her true intentions. Soon the man called Lu Xiaoqi, the guy was just relaxing in the backyard of his mansion at that time, he had no idea where the heroine had disappeared. Moreover, his sister has not yet been released from house arrest, so she also cannot be involved in Su Mo's escape. In the end, the young master concluded that the girl only left the billionaire's house for a short time, she would probably return soon. The situation really turned out to be unusual, since the heroine has only one friend, she was either lost or someone kidnapped her. After that, Xiao Nan walked around his house for several hours with a feeling of anxiety, he could not get the bad thoughts out of his head. When midnight came, he finally ran out of patience and suddenly grabbed the keys to his car, he needed to go searching on his own. Sitting behind the wheel of the car, the heroes were thinking about where to start, because the city is simply huge, Su Mo could be literally anywhere. At the same time, the man understood perfectly well that the heroine had a strong feeling of hatred towards him, but he still wanted to take care of her. Suddenly Xiao Nan saw a girl right in front of him, she was sitting alone on the sidewalk right next to the gate of the mansion, but what does all this mean? At the same time, Su Mo looked slightly confused and at first she didn't even understand who drove up to her, she only got angry at the driver for the bright headlights. Only after the man got out of the car did the heroine understand what was happening, and the billionaire immediately asked her what she was doing here alone. The appearance of the hero quite excited Su Mo, because he had not appeared at home for two whole days, and now he appeared out of nowhere. It turned out that the girl went to the store to buy some things, but she forgot her keys at home and remembered it too late. Thus, the man realized that his new mistress was not really planning to run away, but simply found herself in a difficult situation. But why did she need to go to the supermarket, he asked his assistant to buy food, there was enough food in the refrigerator. In truth, the heroine did not go to a regular store, but to a pharmacy, because lately she has not been feeling very well, most likely she has a fever. To get to the nearest pharmacy you need to drive about 20 minutes by car, and on foot this journey will take more than an hour, Su Mo acted very stupidly. She could ask one of the servants for help, after which the billionaire ordered her to get into the car, they needed to return home. Today Xiao Nan behaved even more strangely than usual, the heroine just went out into the street in the evening, and he was already angry. Looking from the outside, it might seem that the man was trying to take care of his mistress, but it was not without reason that he asked to buy so many products for her. A few minutes later the girl was already in the kitchen and preparing dinner for herself, this time she wanted to cook her favorite dumplings. When the delicious dish was already ready, Su Mo suddenly wondered if the owner of the house wanted to eat too, maybe he was hungry. However, this rich man eats exclusively gourmet food, so the man is unlikely to want to eat ordinary hand-cooked dumplings. In addition, the hero has not left his office since they returned to the mansion, most likely it is better not to provoke him again. In the end, the girl ate and went to her room. The next morning she woke up quite early and immediately noticed a strange thing. Xiao Nan was lying right next to her in the same bed, even more mysterious was the fact that he was wearing business clothes, trousers, and a shirt. Taking a closer look, Su Mo noticed that the hero overall looked rather bad, was it really because of yesterday's incident with the lost keys? Looking at the man, one could assume that he was feeling severe pain, drops of sweat even appeared on his cheek, something was clearly wrong with him. First of all, the billionaire had to be brought to his senses, for this the heroine put her hand on his shoulder and tried to wake him up. But unfortunately this did not help at all, Xiao Nan only became worse, his face was writhing in pain, and he also began to quietly mutter something under his breath. The situation became critical, the girl called an ambulance and asked the hero not to move, with every minute he became worse and worse. Despite the severe discomfort, he refused to go to the hospital, his incredible pride did not allow him to show weakness in front of others. Such stupidity surprised the girl quite a lot, apparently all rich people are real eccentrics, in any case, special medicines need to be found, which usually always lie in the table where the man works, the heroine tried to find them, but the pills were well hidden. For some reason, Su Mo's calm and balanced behavior made Xiao Nan very angry, because despite her timidity, she called him sick. Soon the girl managed to find a small white jar, which turned out to be a strong pain reliever for the stomach. Most likely, 
The man has been suffering from chronic discomfort for quite some time, and this time his illness has manifested itself in full. At the same time, he also refuses to take the medicine that the doctor prescribed for him, is the hero really that proud and self-confident? In the end, the man took a few pills and he felt much better, he had no energy left and quickly fell asleep. The heroine was next to him all the time, she could not understand how this was possible, because a billionaire can hire the best doctors from anywhere in the world. Probably his problem manifested itself due to the fact that Xiao Nan did not eat anything for a very long time, last night he simply went to his room and stayed there. Suddenly, the hero opened his eyes and looked at Su Mo, now his gaze was very kind and affectionate, he asked what his mistress was thinking about now. Because of this, the heroine became embarrassed and ordered the man not to call her his mistress, and in general her thoughts had nothing to do with their relationship. After that, the girl left the owner of the house to rest, and she went to the kitchen, she wanted to reciprocate the hero's concern. A few minutes ago, she saw Xiao Nan with such a gentle expression for the first time, perhaps he was just a little dumb from the pain. Soon, Su Mo returned to the billionaire's room with a large bowl of hot noodles in her hands, this should help if he was really hungry. The heroine also politely handed the man chopsticks, he should eat the dish as soon as possible before it completely cools down. The hero at that moment was looking at her with that sweet look, the girl was sure that now he would want to thank her for her help. However, instead, Xiao Nan asked her in an arrogant tone why she didn't invite him to dinner last night, there were actually a lot of dumplings. The heroine did not expect such an answer at all and began to get nervous, she just thought that the man had already eaten and did not want to make him nervous again. And now there is no time for stupid questions, the billionaire must definitely eat the noodles while they are still hot, otherwise it will not taste good to him. Xiao Nan picked up the chopsticks and started eating but after a few seconds it turned out that the heroine had completely forgotten to salt her dish. In fact, it was not her fault, because despite the huge size of the house, there is not even an ounce of salt in it, but Su Mo added sauce instead. Before this, the man had never cooked at home, it must have been very difficult for his guest to make something tasty in such terrible conditions. In fact, the kitchen was an ordinary decoration, even the servants constantly ordered food from the restaurant, the heroine suddenly thought that Xiao Nan was angry. His behavior infuriated the girl and she wanted to leave, if the billionaire doesn't want to eat, then he doesn't have to force himself, suddenly he grabbed her hand. It becomes obvious that the hero is sincerely grateful to the girl for her care, he has already forgotten when someone tried so hard for him. And the heroine, in turn, remembered the happy days when she cooked food for her friend, many years have passed since then. After a few minutes, the man finished eating and handed the chopsticks to Su Mo's hands, leaving a completely untouched egg on the plate. It turned out that the fastidious rich man does not like eggs, as well as carrots, mushrooms, parsley and much more, at first the girl got angry. But she immediately came to her senses, because Xiao Nan didn't just tell her this information, did he really want her to continue cooking for him. In fact, Su Mo is not yet ready for such conversations, she simply turned around and went to the kitchen to wash the dishes, and recommended the man to sleep. Even in the most difficult moments of the hero's life, he was left alone with a mug of water and a bunch of medicine, he could not have imagined that his guest would worry about him so much. A little later, the girl returned to the hero's room and saw that he was fast asleep to check if the man was deceiving her. She called him by name several times, but Xiao Nan did not answer, perhaps the pain in his stomach took too much energy from him. After that, the heroine went to bed next to the billionaire, within a few days she had already become accustomed to his behavior, although sometimes he behaved too complacently. When Su Mo wakes up next to him, she involuntarily begins to become attached to his smell and authoritative actions, usually they are more like orders. In her hometown, the girl was not interested in anyone except Lu Xiao Qi, she could not even imagine that a chance meeting would change her life. The hero is actually a good person, he's just very lonely, just like the heroine, so the girl perfectly understood his true desires. Even though Su Mo has no money now, she will still definitely pay the man back, all she needs to do is find a normal job. Today the heroine had a great opportunity to escape, but instead she chose to stay next to the hero, they slept in the same bed. Suddenly the billionaire opened his eyes, in fact, he was not sleeping at all 
but was simply pretending to check how his dear guest would behave. That evening he gave her a great chance, but she didn't take advantage of it, from now on the girl has two days, if she doesn't run away, then this will be the answer for Xiao Nan. Waking up the next day, the heroine saw that the owner was not next to her, he had probably recovered and would now be completely fine. Going downstairs, she heard some strange sounds from the kitchen, usually there is no one there, did the man really decide to cook breakfast with his own hands? This indeed turned out to be true, Su Mo was sure that the hero was preparing a dish for her to thank her for her concern yesterday. At this moment the man looked very funny, and soon a pretty young woman in a blue dress came to their house. She immediately turned to the heroine and called her by name, she was the billionaire's assistant, to whom he had entrusted an important matter. Seeing such a beauty, Su Mo was a little confused, she thought that Xiao Nan had another woman, and a very attractive one at that. The girl, with a trembling voice, tried to say that the hero had gone out for a while, she didn't want the woman to think that they were dating. But in fact, she doesn't need to worry about it, the man's assistant looked at her with a smile and explained who she was, by the way, her name is Lisa. The heroine found it hard to believe that such a beautiful woman was an ordinary secretary, Xiao Nan was a real winner in life. By the way, it was Lisa who prepared all the products on the orders of her boss, now there should be enough fruits and vegetables for several weeks. Now Su Mo had no doubt that the hero was doing this solely for her sake. He turned out to be very productive and even bought spices. That was not all, Lisa smiled once again and told the heroine that the billionaire had also sent her the necessary hygiene products. Because of this, the girl was very embarrassed. On the table right in front of her there were large packages with various women's things. And the last gift for today was a new temporary phone, it already has a built-in SIM card and Su Mo can call anyone. It was the latest model of a very expensive brand, and even with special decorations, the heroine really liked this thing and she decided to try it out right away. Suddenly someone called her, the number was unknown and the girl thought that a billionaire was calling her, just with a friend of the number. In fact, a person from the HR department was trying to contact her, the manager wanted to invite Su Mo for an interview for the second time. Lisa, meanwhile, stood nearby and tried to unravel her boss's plan, why he so badly wants to hire the heroine. She was very surprised by the fact that the girl knew absolutely nothing about Xiao Nan's company, she argued this by living in another country. It turned out that the hero's organization is one of the most successful in the whole country, Every resident of the city knows its name and type of activity. Since Su Mo did not submit her application for the manager position, she thought that scammers were trying to contact her, and she did not want to come for the interview. This time the hero overdid it when he drew up his ingenious plan, despite the excellent conditions, the heroine wanted to refuse the invitation. A few minutes later, the girl replied that she needed to think a little, this answer excited Lisa, no one had previously refused such a prestigious job. After that, the phone conversation ended and Su Mo apologized to the woman for wasting her time, and the secretary said that she needed to get back to work. Finally, Lisa left her business card for the heroine, if she has any problems, she can call at any time. The pretty woman seemed very friendly to the girl, it's a pity that they couldn't have breakfast together, maybe next time. The billionaire's assistant was also happy when she got to know Su Mo better, she was a simple girl who was very easy to get along with. Usually her boss does not leave his personal affairs to his subordinates, but this time he asked her, it seems the hero was very interested. After a few hours, the heroine became bored and still wanted to go for an interview, but there was one unresolved problem. To get there, you need to cover a huge distance, Xiao Nan forbade his wife to walk for too long, she needs to find a car. Suddenly Su Mo had a brilliant idea, such a rich man probably has his own personal fleet of vehicles, all that remains is to find it. Within a few minutes she was choosing a car for herself, there were a lot of luxury cars around, a man shouldn't be upset if a girl borrows one. Finding herself in front of the company's main office, the heroine was surprised by its size, it was a huge building with many floors. At the entrance, a worker immediately approached and greeted her politely, and she also said that the HR department was located on the 13th floor. Arriving at the place, the heroine met a young man who also behaved very politely towards her, he asked to read the contract carefully. At these moments, the girl felt like a real queen, 
she had already forgotten the last time she was treated so decently. After reviewing the working conditions, Su Mo agreed to the position of manager, the first thing she wanted to do was tell her friend about it. To do this, she called Lu Xiao Qi and in a joyful voice invited her to one of the restaurants, suddenly a familiar guy with red hair noticed her. However, he did not see who was driving, he was only surprised by the fact that the billionaire's car was parked in a regular parking lot, and not in a special place. Despite the joyful occasion, the friend got angry when she heard the news from the heroine, work should not interfere with her mental health. Lu Xiaoqi asked the waiter in a loud voice to bring her a glass of ice water, Su Mo couldn't understand why she needed this. It turned out that the friend wanted to extinguish the rage inside herself as soon as possible, she couldn't believe that the heroine agreed to live with Xiao Nan for a whole year. Lu Xiaoqi also suspected the billionaire of meanness, in her opinion. He saved Su Mo from the scoundrels not by chance, it was probably his plan. After all, the man immediately kicked down the door to the room, all the facts indicated that he had initially planned everything to mock the girl. Hearing her friend's arguments, Su Mo thought, she and the billionaire met several years ago, since then she has no good memories. At the same time, she did not want to tell Lu Xiaoqi about meeting the hero, so she replied that she had never seen this person before. Despite this, the friend continued to stand her ground, even if Xiao Nan helped out of pure intentions, this in no way justifies his further behavior. Only now did the heroine realize that Lu Xiaoqi was hinting at an intimate relationship with the billionaire, but there was nothing like that between them. In fact, the friend was happy to hear this, and she also asked Su Mo to think about why such a rich man would need an ordinary girlfriend. Suddenly, Lu Xiaoqi jumped up from her chair and directly told the heroine that Xiao Nan was probably in love with her, and this was very dangerous for her. The loud tone of her friend excited the girl and she again plunged into her thoughts, it seemed that she was not the only one who noticed changes in the hero's behavior. A few seconds later, Su Mo heard a familiar voice, a young guy complaining that he didn't want to drink coffee, because he didn't like it at all. Turning around, she saw a familiar face, the young man was talking to his mother, and his behavior was very arrogant and disrespectful. Su Mo immediately remembered where she had heard this voice before, the boy is the brother of her ex-fiancé, they used to get along well. She wanted to talk to the guy and she ran sharply towards the exit, and her friend, in turn, tried to catch up with her and stop her. Lu Xiaoqi couldn't understand why the heroine was acting so strangely, and Su Mo replied that she saw Su Che a few seconds ago. The girl couldn't believe her ears, was it really about Zhang's illegitimate brother, most likely the heroine just imagined it. She shouldn't worry too much about it, even if it was really him, Su Mo would definitely meet him later. Immediately after this phrase, the girls noticed two people walking next to them, the woman was the natural mother of the heroine's former fiancé. But the beauty with purple hair is Zhang's new bride, whom the heroine met in a restaurant a few days ago. Soon they met their gazes and the woman also recognized her ex-daughter-in-law, she had extremely bad memories of her. After all, the girl was supposed to become part of their family, but instead she cheated on her son, even though they had an excellent relationship before that. But after the heroine's 18th birthday, everything changed, now the woman considered her disgusting and did not understand how they could have been friends before. But Su Mo still treated her ex-fiancé's mother with kindness, she asked how things were going with her and her husband now. Despite the girl's polite behavior, the woman ignored her and simply started talking to her companion, they were going to go to a cosmetic store. Zhang's current fiancé disliked the heroine and tried to demonstrate it with all her appearance, such behavior brought her pleasure. After that, Lu Xiaoqi immediately tried to reassure her friend, there was no need to worry about such trifles, and besides, she was not to blame for anything. It turned out that Su Mo didn't even intend to be upset or cry, she smiled and suggested going to the nearest establishment for a drink. This seemed like a great offer to her friend, a new karaoke place had just opened nearby, and it was only a few minutes walk away. Meanwhile, on the other side of town, an important meeting was taking place, attended by a guy with red hair and a billionaire. And there was also a young man with blue hair sitting at the table, whose name was Ming Chaoyuan, he is a doctor who does not like to wait for others. The billionaire had just arrived a few minutes late and greeted the others dismissively, he advised them to start without him next time. 
After that, the guy with red hair asked the man why he came at the wrong time, his car had been parked nearby for several hours. In fact, Xiao Nan was in another office all the time, and the girl was driving the car, but no one knew about it yet. It seemed to the doctor that the young man was simply mistaken, but this is simply impossible, because the billionaire's car is from a limited edition. First of all, Lu Xiaoqi asked the hero about his mistress, he wondered if Su Mo was still sitting behind closed doors in the mansion. In response to this, the billionaire simply turned around and headed for the exit, before arrogantly apologizing, he needed to go out for a while. His friends could not believe their eyes, they had never seen a man in such a mood before, it was as if he had been replaced with another person. The guy with red hair, whose name was Ming Zhao, became interested, he and Lu Xiaoqi decided to follow the hero, but the doctor didn't care. Despite his absolute indifference, he had to go along with the others, his acquaintances grabbed Ming Xiaoyuan by the hands and dragged her to the exit of the restaurant. It turned out that a special bug was built into the heroine's new phone, with the help of which Xiao Nan could know where she was. When the man saw that the girl was at karaoke, he wondered what she was doing there, suddenly a feeling of intense jealousy took over his mind. Within a few minutes, the hero arrived at the establishment, as soon as he entered there, he heard Su Mo singing, her song was about non-reciprocal love. The performance of the heroine touched Lu Xiaoqi so much that she even began to cry and asked to name the scoundrel who dared to reject her friend. However, their vacation together was over, the hero abruptly grabbed the girl by the clothes and was about to go home with her. No matter how Su Mo tried to resist, she failed, because the billionaire was stronger, and her friend also did not dare to interfere. A few minutes later, the hero's comrades arrived at the karaoke after him, they quickly ran inside and tried to find Xiao Nan. However, now he was busy in talking with his mistress, who behaved quite strangely, she began to flirt with the hero. Because of this, the man began to think that Su Mo remembered the events that happened between them six years ago, he still wasn't sure about it. In fact, the girl is just a little drunk now and demanding any confessions from her is quite stupid, she asked to be lowered to the ground. Then she suddenly put her palms on Xiao Nan's face and reached straight towards him, a second later their lips were touching in a kiss. This was the first time in many years that the billionaire did not know how to behave, the girl was truly special because she made him feel embarrassed. Ming Zhao was shocked when he saw this picture, at first he thought that a stranger was pestering his boss, but his friends immediately understood everything. They had both met Su Mo before and guessed that this seemingly innocent beauty could very well turn into a real predator. It seemed like the only guy with red hair had no idea what they were talking about, he rushed to the doctor and demanded that he explain everything. It turned out that the billionaire called Ming Xiaoyuan a few days ago with one request, he needed to come and examine the heroine. Even then, it was obvious that Xiao Nan treated the girl in a special way, he even allowed her to sleep in his bed. Finally, Ming Zhao received at least some details, he could not even imagine that these two were actually in love with each other. Su Mo, meanwhile, looked at the man with a loving gaze and spoke in detail about the feelings she experienced during the kiss. Lu Xiaoqi couldn't believe that her friend had changed so much because of a small glass of wine, she had never behaved like this before. Su Mo's next phrase turned out to be even more frank, she already called the man her lover and asked him to be obedient. The billionaire liked the girl's playful character much more, he could not even think that a small dose of alcohol would have such an effect on her. At the same time, from the outside it looked inappropriate, so Lu Xiaoqi tried to bring her friend to her senses, she took her aside. And in a serious tone she advised her to stop her depraved behavior, she needed to sober up and calm down, but Su Mo was not going to listen. Instead, the heroine deftly jumped forward straight to meet her lover, it seems that she had completely lost her sense of self-control. After all, she continued to flirt with the billionaire, this time she was captivated by the man's beauty and Su Mo called him her personal handsome man. And even the heroine didn't stop there, she then picked up the microphone and grabbed Xiao Nan's tie, after which she began to sing. However, she was interrupted by the hero himself, he gently hugged the girl to himself and confirmed the words that his care would belong only to her. Soon the couple in love headed for the exit, Lu Xiaoqi tried to stop the billionaire, he couldn't just take her friend away. She was quickly reassured by her brother, 
Lu Xiaoqi advised his little sister not to worry so much and to leave the couple alone. When the man carried the heroine to the car, she had already fallen asleep, despite this he looked happy and a slight smile appeared on his face. Even after being at home, Su Mo still continued to call the billionaire handsome and asked him to kiss her a second time. She calmed down only when the owner of the house put her in bed and covered her with a blanket, the girl immediately fell silent and fell into a sweet sleep. The next morning, the heroine had an incredibly bad headache, she woke up after lunch and at first didn't even understand how she ended up here. Looking at the floor, Su Mo saw a lot of scattered clothes, both women's and men's clothes were lying all over the room. Because of this, she began to panic, because she did not remember yesterday's events at all, did she really sleep with Xiao Nan? Looking under the blanket, the heroine calmed down a little, because there were no signs that could confirm her theory, most likely they had nothing. After that, the girl heard sounds from the bathroom, someone had finished taking a shower and was about to come out to her. Of course it was the owner of the house, bite marks were clearly visible on his lips, Su Mo began to panic again and build various theories. The man's appearance also unnerved her, he wrapped himself in a small towel and stood practically naked, the girl asked not to approach her. But the billionaire, in turn, behaved quite calmly and asked the heroine if she really didn't remember anything at all. Soon, Su Mo began to little by little collect pieces of memories in her head, it seems that yesterday she drank and began to do various obscenities. However, the end of yesterday remained a mystery to her, in fact, the girl didn't really want to know all the details. As a result, she simply said that she could not remember absolutely anything, she did not want to discuss it with the billionaire at all. Suddenly the man came close to the heroine and kindly said that right now he would help her remember everything that happened between them. Such actions went beyond any limits in order to somehow defuse the situation, Su Mo replied that in general she already knew the picture of events. Despite this, Xiao Nan had no intention of leaving the beauty alone, he wanted to know what exactly she could remember. From his look it became clear that he saw right through the girl, if she wanted to lie, then she should come up with a better plan as quickly as possible. Coming from the lips of a billionaire, such a phrase sounded very strange, because he himself is constantly silent and pretends that he does not care about everyone around him. However, this did not change the fact that the hero was telling the truth about last night, while the girl could not ask him directly. In fact, nothing serious really happened between them, when Su Mo fell asleep, Xiao Nan just lay next to her on the bed. Then the girl looked very sweet and excited, the man could barely restrain himself and sincerely wanted to complete the matter, but did not do so. After all, he didn't want to take advantage of the heroine's defenseless position, there was a risk of losing her forever, and for a billionaire this is worse than any punishment. So he simply hugged the beauty and said that he would never allow her to drink wine in front of other men again, she must behave decently. A little later, Su Mo called her friend to finally find out all the details of what happened, but in response she only heard loud laughter. However, the heroine herself was not at all happy, she assumed that Xiao Nan himself began to pester her and for some reason was counting on reciprocity. Only after that did Lu Xiao Qi explain everything, her friend had too much alcohol and started pestering the billionaire, even calling him her favorite handsome guy. No matter how the heroine tried to deny everything, in the end she had to come to terms with reality, now she needs to figure out how to proceed. Unfortunately, normal ideas did not come to her mind, the girl's mind was completely taken over by thoughts of a kiss with Xiao Nan. Even after a few minutes, she was unable to come to her senses and the heroine asked her friend for advice, Lu Xiaoqi recommended that she sort out her feelings. Su Mo suddenly thought about how hard her heart began to beat when she saw the hero, could she really be in love with him? His hair was always well styled and seemed to have a unique scent, and in the man's eyes, a girl could drown when he looked straight at her. This man's facial features made people jealous, even his lips looked special, when a man smiles, he looks completely different. Soon the heroine also suddenly asked herself why she was thinking so much about the billionaire, she wanted to be distracted by something else. Lu Xiaoqi once again warned her friend and recommended that she stay away from Xiao Nan, it is better not to provoke this person. Even if Su Mo stays with him, he will most likely regret it very much, such men are very dangerous and relationships with them end sadly. In response to this, the heroine stated that she did not even think about falling in love with such a scoundrel, 
and besides, they would only be close for one year. After this, a friend asked about a new job, she was interested in what kind of position the girl received and how much she was paid. Su Mo suddenly realized that she should have been in the office for several hours already, today she missed her first day of work. The owner of the house, meanwhile, was calmly having breakfast in the kitchen, with his peripheral vision he noticed how the beauty was running in a hurry up the steps to the first floor. At the same time, she didn't even stop to say hello, but instead shouted something about a new job, which the man really didn't like. He persistently asked the girl to sit at the table and eat with him, the hero knew perfectly well what bad nutrition could lead to. When Su Mo was already standing on the threshold, her phone rang, it was the manager with whom she had to have a meeting right now. Feeling nervous, the girl picked up the phone and said hello to her colleague, she had already come up with a false story and was about to make excuses. However, the heroine did not have time to say anything, Xiao Nan abruptly snatched the phone from her hands and said that today she had a day off and no one should touch her. Now the girl can have breakfast in peace and not worry about anything, the billionaire is ready to do anything for her well-being. At first, Su Mo was skeptical about such an act, but when she saw a variety of delicious dishes, she immediately changed her mind. In addition, the heroine can have breakfast like this every day, because in the morning a person will come and cook whatever she wants. Soon the billionaire finished his meal and went to his office, before advising the girl to take advantage of the opportunity and not go to work. Despite the recommendation of the company's general director, Su Mo has not yet finally decided whether to go to the office or stay at home. While she was thinking about this while sitting on the sofa, the phone rang nearby, the girl was sure that it was her who was calling. However, the voice on the phone seemed completely unfamiliar to the heroine and she assumed that someone had the wrong number, suddenly a realization came to her. In fact, now she had the billionaire's phone in her hands, and besides, a certain woman was trying to contact him. Su Mo simply mixed everything up and now didn't know what was the best thing to do, hang up, or report the incident to the man. In the end, the girl politely asked for forgiveness and replied that she would immediately hand the phone into the hands of the true owner. She ran as fast as she could, ending up in the hero's office, Su Mo timidly told him that a woman was trying to contact him. In response to this, Xiao Nan didn't say anything at all, but instead just walked up to the heroine and picked her up in his hand, which was very unexpected. It turned out that he was very little interested in business conversation, first of all, he wanted to know why the beauty walked around the house barefoot. Now she just needs to put the phone on the table, Su Mo looked surprised and tried to find out why the billionaire was behaving this way. But he didn't listen to her at all, the hero promised to properly punish the girl next time if she continued to run around the house without shoes. Immediately after this, the man carried his beloved to the first floor and carefully put cute white ballet shoes on her feet. The hero's behavior became more and more inexplicable every day, for some reason he began to care for Su Mo as his own daughter. When the heroine asked him about this, Xiao Nan's gaze suddenly became serious, did she really say something wrong and he got angry. Nearby there was a large package of sugar, the man asked the girl if she had stolen a special one for a little snack. This was indeed true but the beauty did not see anything strange in it and invited the hero to eat with her. And the billionaire, in turn, took this as an invitation, he directly asked his lover if she wanted to take their relationship to a new level. At this moment, Xiao Nan practically touched the heroine's face with his lips, because of this she was confused and completely speechless. Within a few seconds their lips touched in a kiss, the girl had not yet fully decided how exactly she should react to this. Therefore, she quickly pushed Xiao Nan away from her and asked not to do this again, in her opinion, he was rushing things too much. However, the billionaire himself did not see anything strange in this, because the beauty herself hinted to him when she offered to try something sweet. Of course, he understood what we were talking about, but despite this, he wanted to properly taste the sweet taste of Su Mo. From the heroine's face it became clear that she was very uncomfortable, she would prefer to avoid such a situation, everything went completely wrong. A few seconds later, the man asked her if she had forgotten how a few days ago she called him handsome and begged him to kiss her. Confused, Su Mo said that all her actions were a huge mistake, in fact, she does not remember anything at all from those events. After hearing this, the hero became seriously angry and ordered the girl to repeat her words again, and she, 
in turn, began to tremble with fear. After a few seconds, the heroine finally lost her temper and asked Xiao Nan in a loud voice to leave her alone, she didn't want to talk to him. The man did not need to be asked twice, he was about to leave himself, the heroine's words hurt him very much, in his opinion, she behaved like a child. For the rest of the evening, the lonely girl cried in her room, she still had not managed to properly understand her feelings. To somehow distract herself, she called her friend, but Lu Xiaoqi had already repeatedly warned her about the dangers of dating a billionaire. Therefore, instead of words of support, Su Mo heard reproaches, and besides, she really acted disrespectfully towards the man. Of course, he got angry when the heroine suddenly changed her mind about developing their relationship, now she will have to go to him and ask for forgiveness. In the end, the girl admitted her mistake and decided to apologize to the hero, but now she did not know how best to do this. Should she send a message or is it better to call, while the heroine felt that her words might sound insincere. The obsessive thoughts worried Su Mo so much that after a few minutes it began to irritate her greatly, she needed to distract herself with something. First of all, it's worth putting the room in order, there was a vacuum cleaner nearby, with which you can clean a huge mansion. The girl did just that, she was very carried away with cleaning and did not even notice how the whole house began to shine with cleanliness, it took a lot of energy from her. Soon she turned on the TV to watch a cooking show, where they were preparing a traditional Indian dish called Pollock. Suddenly, the heroine jumped up from her chair and came closer to the screen, this option was just a great opportunity to apologize to the hero. Now everything has been decided, the girl will prepare a wonderful dinner for the man and thus demonstrate all her true feelings. She wrote him a message inviting him to dinner and went to the kitchen, cooking for a billionaire is quite difficult, but she can do it. There was only one flaw in her plan, Xiao Nan still had not responded to her message, perhaps he was so offended that he would not even want to come. After some time, Su Mo decided to call him, she could no longer just sit there waiting for a miracle, she needed to know everything for sure. When the girl dialed the required number, her call was answered immediately, the first thing she did was ask whether the man had read her messages. However, in response, the heroine heard a female voice asking her about who she was trying to contact, Xiao Nan is currently unavailable. At the same time, Su Mo definitely couldn't make a mistake when typing the numbers, the number definitely belongs to a billionaire, but why did the woman answer? It turned out that the man was taking a bath right now and would be able to call back only later, but the heroine no longer wanted to talk to him. She abruptly hung up and headed out of the kitchen, was she really going to cook dinner for such a scoundrel a minute ago, who left for another immediately after their quarrel, at that moment the girl was beside herself with rage and again began to think about escaping, but suddenly she was interested in one moment, the voice on the phone called Xiao Nan by name, only the closest people allowed themselves to do this. Meanwhile, at the other end of the city, the hero was actually taking a bath, a few minutes later he went into the room where the famous actress was, whose name was Yi Yang, she was the one who called the man a few days ago, and in response she heard Su Mo's voice, she wanted to know more about the girl. However, the hero didn't seem to listen to her at all, he simply picked up the phone to make sure he had no missed calls. And at the same time, a guy with red hair burst into their room, it looked like he had also gotten out of the shower a few minutes ago, he was wearing only one robe. Unfortunately, his spectacular appearance did not make the right impression on the others, Xiao Nan and the actress looked at him with surprised glances. The woman also asked the young man if he shouldn't be at work right now, because he has a lot of important things to do. In fact, she stopped and it's clear that Yi Yang just wants to get rid of Ming Zhao as soon as possible, he is clearly superfluous here. After this, the woman asked the billionaire for the second time about the girl who lives in his house, she wanted to know what the relationship was between them. Despite direct questions from the actress, the hero once again completely ignored her, he continued to silently look at the screen of his phone. This behavior amused the guy with red hair a little. Even such a star is not able to cope with his tough boss. Yi Yan quickly noticed his arrogant smile and asked what made the eccentric laugh so much, Ming Zhao replied that he simply remembered a joke. Among other things, the guy wanted to tease the actress and told her in general terms about the situation that happened between Xiao Nan and the heroine at karaoke. A young and pretty girl was able to seduce such an indomitable handsome man as a billionaire in one evening, the woman had better hurry up, 
Because of what she heard, Yi Yang felt extreme rage, she left the country for only a few weeks, and the hero had already managed to find a new mistress. Creating a false smile on her face, the star asked the man to tell some more details, but he was clearly not in the mood. It turned out that the billionaire had been trying to get through to Su Mo all this time, who only recently became very offended by him. Only a few minutes later, the hero turned to the famous actress and asked to explain why she returned to the country a few weeks earlier. This question infuriated the woman even more, because the hero just changed the topic of conversation without answering any of her questions. She tried to act calm in her usual manner, in fact, she simply managed to finish filming early. Since the man is not going to explain anything to her, Yi Yen will have to get the information on her own, fortunately she already has experience in such matters. Many beauties were obsessed with the billionaire, but then the actress was not interested in this, she could not even imagine that there would be someone better than her. It was for this reason that the woman had to leave the film set in a hurry, and then constantly avoid reporters and crowds of fans. The rage inside her had already reached its limit, from the outside it seemed that an ominous black aura was appearing around Yi Yang. Suddenly, her mood changed once again, since Su Mo hung up, she must have become jealous of Xiao Nan. If you apply a little cunning and patience, the billionaire would never stay with such a timid girl, the actress's sinister plan was almost ready. Ming Zhao also noticed changes in the man's behavior, the company had never dealt with jewelry before, all the employees were puzzled and no one knew how it would all end. In fact, the answer lay on the surface, since the heroine worked as a jewelry designer in France, the hero decided to give her the opportunity to do what she does. A few minutes later, his assistant Lisa called the billionaire and said that Su Mo had contacted her and asked to come to a meeting. Xiao Nan did not interfere with their relationship and allowed the woman to go, but she needs to tell her everything they will talk about. Soon the girl was already sitting at a restaurant table, and in front of her was a large mug of coffee, Lisa asked her what the reason for their meeting was. Su Mo looked rather sad and bowed her head down, she talked about her difficult relationship with the billionaire, perhaps his assistant could give some advice. If this is not too difficult for a woman, then the heroine really wants to find out as many details as possible about the character and daily life of a man. In response to this, Lisa smiled in her usual manner and wondered why the girl couldn't ask the hero directly about this. But Su Mo continued to look very sad, she still feels guilty and believes that she acted very ugly. It was about that very conversation, after which the hero became offended and abruptly left the room, that day he did not even come to work at the office. The friends talked for several more hours, the girl described the situation in every detail, she did not want to upset the man at all. Among other things, the heroine was ashamed of the incident when she mistakenly received a call from the billionaire's phone, the actress was trying to contact him. At the same time, Su Mo understood perfectly well that this act was completely wrong, more than anything, she wanted to apologize to Xiao Nan. Lisa knew her boss very well, usually such little things do not affect his behavior in any way, but now is clearly a special case. In fact, apologizing to the hero is not so difficult, over many years of working with him, the woman noticed that he is not a vindictive person at all. The girl was in seventh heaven when she heard this, most of all, she was afraid that the man would never forgive her. To ask for forgiveness, she needs to be 100% sincere, it is also important to remember one important point, Xiao Nan does not like rivals. Su Mo and Lisa decided to go home, because it was already late, while sitting behind the wheel, the heroine was thinking about how she could show the sincerity of her words. Turning her head to the side, she noticed a bakery, which was located not far from the office, it was an excellent option for a gift. The hero returned home from work late in the evening, opening the doors to the house, the first thing he noticed was the sleeping beauty. She clearly waited for the man for quite a long time, but eventually fell asleep, and there was also a beautiful and neatly packed gift box on the table. Pulling the ribbon, Xiao Nan was very surprised, inside there was a cake with words of apology written on it. This way of making amends seemed very interesting to him the billionaire had never encountered anything like this before. In addition, there was a note near the pie in which the girl promised him to become more responsible, she would no longer behave like a child. The man carefully picked up Su Mo and tried to wake him up, first of all, he wanted to know if she really made this cake. It turned out to be quite difficult to wake up the beauty, 
but soon she finally came to her senses and was happy, because the owner of the house had returned after all. Looking at the hero with an inspired look, she confirmed his guesses, the pie was indeed made especially for the hero. Well, the man was even more interested in the sincerity of the note that the girl wrote for him, whether she was ready for serious actions. From such a straightforward question, the heroine became slightly embarrassed and looked away, and her cheeks turned red. Immediately after this, Xiao Nan looked straight into her eyes affectionately but at the same time confidently, he wants to hear the answer right now. In the end, Su Mo asked for forgiveness, she was really wrong and she was very sorry, a man shouldn't be so offended by her. The situation became more and more tense with every second, the girl tried to defuse it and offered the hero to try a piece of cake. He, in turn, didn't mind, but first he needed to take a shower, and Su Mo would be able to cut the cake into several pieces at that time. When the billionaire left, the heroine was finally able to breathe a sigh of relief, although she tried not to show it, but she was overwhelmed with excitement. Su Mo's embarrassment never completely left her, even at that moment when she was simply cutting the cake, the phrase written on it looked unusual. Fortunately, within a few seconds the beauty smiled, because despite the stress she had experienced, she would now be able to sleep peacefully. Returning from the bathroom, the hero found a cut cake, but the heroine herself was not there, this did not suit him at all. There was another note on the table in which she wished the man good night and recommended not to overeat. As a result, the billionaire put a piece of pie on a plate and went straight to Su Mo's room, after which he tried to wake her up. The girl's sleep, as always, was very sound. Xiao Nan needed to call the beauty's name several times before she opened her eyes. Looking at the man with a puzzled look, the heroine asked what happened to him, it turns out he loves when someone feeds him. But he's not a child anymore, so Su Mo wasn't going to do such stupid things, and the hero seemed determined. If the beauty does not want to help him with the pie, then he is ready to skip this stage and immediately taste her. The argument seemed very weighty to the girl and she quickly picked up a fork, it was better to fulfill the hero's request than to endure his antics again. When there was not a single piece left on the plate, the billionaire calmly got out of bed and went to the kitchen, and the heroine was finally able to sleep. Soon Xiao Nan himself returned to her, he gently put his hand on her head and gently pressed her to him, the man was ready to give her time to think. The next morning, the girl got up early and immediately sat down at her laptop, the hero approached her and asked what she was doing. Since today was her first day at work, the beauty wanted to look for some useful information on the internet. Xiao Nan was delighted and praised the new employee of his company, but she shouldn't overwork herself, first of all she needs to go downstairs to have breakfast. Also, the hero will take her to the office as soon as she eats, he really behaves unpredictably, it is better to just follow his whims. Soon the two of them were already in the car and Su Mo asked how quickly she could pay off the debt while working for Xiao Nan's organization. The place where the heroine lives is quite far from the center, it is very difficult to get there by taxi, so she wants to move closer to her place of work. In response to such statements, the billionaire did not answer anything, his face became serious again, did the girl really say something wrong again? One of the company's managers told her that all the paperwork had already been completed, Su Mo could start right now. After some time, the heroine noticed that everyone around her was looking at her strangely, as if she had gotten here by dishonest means. It turned out that the department in which the heroine will work was formed quite recently, so she will have few colleagues, and later a workplace will be organized for her. By coincidence, some of the company's employees were transferred here, mostly designers whose work was to the taste of the head of the company. Su Mo was very excited about her new position, starting out is always difficult, but she will definitely grab such a good opportunity. After that, the girl thanked the manager and said that she could deal with the rest herself, the guy could leave. It's best to start with preparing the material, thanks to her good experience in the field of jewelry, the heroine knew how to do it. The only drawback was the constant stares from the other workers, everyone around, for some reason, looked at the girl as if she were from another planet. It seemed to her that she had simply not worked in her home country for too long, perhaps here all companies treat newcomers this way. Suddenly, a young and pretty girl with light blue hair sat down next to her, she called Su Mo by name and asked why she had such a sad face. But after a second, the stranger herself understood everything, 
and the strange looks of her other colleagues very quickly caught her eye. Immediately after this, another employee finally asked the heroine directly what exactly her relationship was with their CEO. At this moment, the girl's guesses were finally confirmed, everyone around believed that she got her new job through bed. The girl with blue hair stood up for Sue M.O. and asked her not to ask such indecent questions, it was too early to draw such conclusions. After some time, Ming Xiao came to the office, it turned out that he also works in this organization, and also occupies a high position. The beauty tried to reassure the heroine and explained that everyone around her considers Xiao Nan very popular among women, which is why they are prejudiced against her. Even the popular Time magazine included him in the list of the most successful and richest entrepreneurs in the country, and he is also very young. Realizing the whole situation, the girl became very angry, her hands even trembled from mixed feelings, she put up with the hero's arrogant behavior for a long time. But now this went beyond all limits, he not only forced her to sign a contract, but also deprived her of the opportunity to find a job elsewhere. The guy with red hair noticed his friend and immediately wanted to say hello to her, today was her first day at work. However, he quickly changed his mind, because the beauty was now clearly in a bad mood, her gaze scared the young man until his knees trembled. Suddenly, the heroine abruptly stood up from the table and loudly threw her chopsticks, she completely lost her appetite and wanted to be alone. According to Ming Zhao, this girl really doesn't respect him at all, for some reason she behaves as if they had never met. Now the guy didn't even know what Su Mo's position should be, but he was able to quickly get the necessary information, after all, she is the one in charge of the new jewelry department. Within a few minutes, the young man was in the office of the company president and asked him directly whether he had specifically created a new department to place his mistress there. After which he confidently sat down on the sofa and put his feet on the table, it seemed to him that it was bad to abuse his powers so much. Next to Xiao Nan was his assistant Lisa, she smiled in her usual manner and offered Ming Zhao a cup of coffee. It turned out that the guy had liked the beautiful woman for quite some time, he tried to ask her out on a date, but she was not interested. In fact, the young man has been trying to woo Lisa for several years, but every time he hears a cruel refusal. However, now he was more worried about something else, for some reason, the boss did not pay any attention to him and simply remained silent. Most likely, the man misunderstood the guy, he wants to help keep the hero's secret from the others, but it will be very difficult. Among other things, Ming Zhao expects decent payment for his efforts, in response to this the director handed him a white sheet of paper. Did the young man really think that a person like Xiao Nan was going to drown alone, he had taken care of this in advance. From now on, it is the guy with red hair who will do the main work of the jewelry department, by the way, in three days he needs to propose his business plan. Of course, Ming Zhao was against so many responsibilities, lately he has to deal with the company's cooperation, he is already busy. In this case, the hero can give him several workers as assistants, but in any case, the work should be ready in a few days. It seems the young man simply has no choice, the man has already repeatedly assigned additional responsibilities to him on days when the guy has a day off. Now he wanted to at least speak out in front of his boss, because of him he would soon completely burn out, is it really difficult to be at least a little kinder? It was at that moment that one of the workers entered their office, she had an urgent matter, and besides, the doors were completely open. Inside, she saw a rather strange picture, Xiao Nan was trying to hug the guy to him and was talking about how he would never let him go, could this really be their secret? Because of what she saw, the girl was very embarrassed, but tried to hide it, she simply handed the documents into the hero's hands so that he would sign them. Now she wanted to leave as quickly as possible, so as not to interfere with the personal affairs of these two, the employee perceived the situation a little incorrectly. However, neither the CEO nor Ming Zhao suspected anything, the guy only had a feeling as if something strange had happened. Meanwhile, Su Mo tried to concentrate, but after reading articles about the billionaire on the internet, she couldn't think about her work. A few hours later, her workday was finally over and she could go home, staying even a minute longer was torture for her. As soon as the heroine headed for the exit, she was stopped by one of the employees, the management unexpectedly notified the entire department about a business meeting. This news upset the girl very much, more than anything, she wanted to go home and take a bath, and then fall into a deep sleep. 
Instead, she had to wait for Ming Zhao to appear, it was he who initiated this meeting, the guy greeted all his colleagues. In fact, Su Mo didn't expect to see the red-haired weirdo again, she couldn't believe that he could do anything serious. But the rest of the workers were simply crazy about the young man, they hoped that he would be transferred to their jewelry department. Having met the heroine's gaze, he once again noticed how intently she was looking at him, the beauty seemed to be harboring a grudge. However, now was not the right time to sort things out, colleagues should give their names so that everyone could get to know each other. Ming Zhao was nevertheless appointed in charge of the jewelry design project, and from today on, he will give all orders and comments. After this, the guy asked the designers to introduce themselves, one of them was a woman named Wendy, she is a highly qualified specialist. The employee asked her new boss not to worry, the company trusts her, which is why she got her position. The second designer was Sue M.O. herself, unfortunately, she could not boast of huge trust from the organization's management. Therefore, she had to simply give her name, more and more the girl was convinced that she did not like working in this place. After some time, the meeting was over and Ming Zhao said that his colleagues could take all the information home and familiarize themselves with it. At the same time, throughout the entire meeting he was haunted by Su Mo's sad look, if this continues, problems may arise. Finally, the young man gave the workers tasks, according to which they needed to draw up work drawings and select two assistants for training. Now the girl can finally go home, this was the only good news she could hear all day. Unfortunately, her joy did not last long, because the guy pointed his finger at her and asked her to stay for a few more minutes. When they were alone, Ming Zhao tried to explain his actions, he just needed to tell the girl one important news. Suddenly Sumo loudly hit the table with her palms, her patience was already at its limit and she absolutely did not want to talk about anything with the young man. But after a few seconds, the heroine finally breaks down, she no longer sees the point in her work and wants to quit, this performance has gone too far. After that, the guy ran to the general director's office and reported what had happened, the girl managed to leave on her first day of work. In response to this, Xiao Nan said nothing at all, he only raised his head and asked Ming Zhao to continue to carry out his duties in a calm tone. However, the guy was no longer going to follow orders flawlessly, in his opinion, Su Mo is a very insidious and evil girl, you need to be more careful with her. Finally, the man called his assistant and asked her to go to the party tonight with another person, namely Ming Zhao. The young man didn't really like this idea, now he wanted to leave as quickly as possible before Lisa discovered him. To his great regret, a pretty woman stood right outside the doors, she happily agreed to fulfill the boss's request. Despite her cute appearance, Lisa had quite impressive strength, the young man simply did not have enough energy to resist. As she was leaving the main office, Su Mo's phone rang, the billionaire wanted to contact her and find out more about her desire to quit her job. The girl picked up the phone and confirmed everything, she actually no longer intends to take the position that Xiao Nan imposed on her. And the man, in his usual manner, treated this with absolute calm, he asked the heroine to wait for him near the entrance. Sitting in the car, the girl asked the hero directly whether he deliberately deprived her of the opportunity to get a job in another organization. Hearing the positive answer, Su Mo became seriously angry, such actions went beyond all limits, a billionaire has no right to do this. The man did this solely out of good intentions, because the girl had only recently returned to the country and would hardly have been able to find a good place on her own. However, the heroine still got angry at Xiao Nan and turned away, not even being given the opportunity to prove herself. Eventually she plucked up the courage to ask the billionaire why he was paying so much attention to her. In fact, the hero was also worried about one important question. Right now he wants to know whether the girl really doesn't remember their meeting six years ago. For some reason, the man brought Su Mo to the same club where he locked her up a few weeks ago, after which she fell ill. Among other things, Xiao Nan did not explain anything to her and simply dragged her inside the establishment. The girl, of course, did not want to return to this place. Only when the two of them had almost reached the entrance did the hero reassure her that she could be sure that nothing bad would happen to her. Ming Chiaoyuan was already sitting at one of the tables, the doctor greeted his acquaintances, from his appearance you couldn't tell that he liked going to such clubs. Soon Lisa and Ming Zhao joined them, apparently it was this dinner that the hero was talking about when he gave the guy an order. 
The last invited guest was a famous actress, her appearance made a strong impression on the heroine, she did not expect to meet her here. And the woman, in turn, immediately threw herself on Xiao Nan's neck and began to flirt with him, she invited him to retire and relax a little. Yi Yang was looking forward to meeting the billionaire again, and she also hoped that he would appreciate her new outfit. The actress's behavior upset Su Mo more and more, Xiao Nan had previously promised to take care of her exclusively, and now he was hugging someone else. Why then did the girl worry so much about their relationship and apologize, she is even ready to completely change her attitude towards life. After a few seconds, her patience finally ran out and she abruptly stood up from her seat, after which she excused herself and went to the restroom. Finding herself in front of the mirror, the heroine was completely immersed in her thoughts, perhaps she had been next to the man for too long. When Su Mo headed back to the hall, right at the exit she met the hero's lawyer, Han Zi said that they had met many years ago. This man spoke exactly the same as Xiao Nan himself, so far the girl did not know what to do best, so she asked the lawyer to explain everything in more detail. However, the man only asked her to leave the billionaire alone, he could not have imagined that the hero would become so attached to an ordinary stranger. After that, Han Zi handed her a business card and asked her to inform her if she decided to return back to France. Due to many different events, the girl began to have a headache, now, first of all, she wants to rest a little and come to her senses. As she was leaving the nightclub, she suddenly heard familiar voices, they were her old friends, who were just discussing the return of the heroine. To confirm her guesses, Su Mo came closer, her old school friends were indeed sitting at the table. Zhang's current fiancé, whose name was Xiao Ying, quickly met her gaze, and then asked her interlocutors to remain silent for a while. The rest of the girls only noticed the presence of their ex-girlfriend after that, they felt ashamed, because they had just mocked her. Suddenly, one of the former friends said that every word they said was true, because the heroine herself was to blame for all her troubles. And if this is not the case, then why do people around Su Mo become unhappy, this cannot be a mere coincidence. The girl tried to justify herself, because her former classmate was talking complete nonsense, after taking a few steps forward, she stumbled. The insidious Xiaoying tripped her, causing the heroine to fall to the floor, and the other bitch also poured a full glass of water on her. According to the scoundrel, the girl drove not only her family into the coffin, but also her own aunt, and she even lost her beautiful fiancé. Among other things, Zhang's new bride pretended to be innocent and hypocritically asked her friends to leave the unfortunate Su Mo alone. Despite this, the two bitches still didn't have enough and they were going to pour a glass of red wine on the heroine, they believed that she should be taught a lesson. Suddenly, someone knocked the dishes out of the scoundrel's hands, causing the glass to fall to the floor and break into small pieces, but that's just the beginning. Xiao Nan was behind all this, he ordered the threats towards the heroine to be repeated once again, who are these imposters anyway to punish her. At the same time, the girl herself absolutely did not want to continue the conflict, she turned to the billionaire in a quiet voice and asked him to take her home. For the hero, the desire for his beloved was above all, so he agreed, but in the end he still looked at his former girlfriends with a terrifying gaze. The actress heard loud arguments from the next room and came closer, the billionaire asked her not to worry, Su Mo just had a little too much wine. Soon, Yi Yang said that she was also quite tired today, she didn't mind going home with the hero. Despite the woman's request, Xiao Nan had completely different plans, she could turn to Han Zi for help, he would help her get there. Hiding the feeling of jealousy inside herself, the actress smiled hypocritically and advised the billionaire to be careful on the way to the mansion. Once at home, the hero first of all took the girl to bed, at first glance, she was so tired that she immediately fell into a sweet sleep. But as soon as the man turned around and headed towards the exit, Su Mo suddenly grabbed his hand and pulled him towards her, after which she hugged him tightly. At that moment, her gaze spoke for her, the heroine did not want Xiao Nan to leave, more than anything else she wanted to be next to him. The billionaire finally waited for the moment when his beloved understood her feelings, now they can sincerely love each other. The girl's behavior really changed dramatically, instead of pushing the man away from her, she continued to kiss him tenderly. Suddenly the hero stopped, this situation was exactly the same as a few days ago, he should not take advantage of Su Mo's defenseless position. 
It turned out that the heroine was very grateful to Xiao Nan for the place where she has the opportunity to cry from grief at any time. The billionaire immediately understood what was going on, he perfectly heard all the stupid reproaches from his ex-girlfriends towards his and his beloved. In fact, you shouldn't listen to stupid scoundrels, the hero gently pressed the girl, she doesn't have to hide from him if she wants to cry. In the end, Su Mo finally stopped hiding her feelings and admitted that she was very sorry, because she had not met such a wonderful person earlier. After a few seconds, she finally had no strength left and fell asleep right in Xiao Nan's arms, the beauty had not felt so calm for a long time. The next morning, she returned to her workplace in a good mood, and the smell of delicious coffee pleased her even more. Suddenly, the heroine heard conversations from the next room, colleagues, as usual, were doing their favorite pastime and discussing her relationship with the director of the company. Among other things, employees were surprised at how long their boss dates one woman, he usually changes them like gloves. Despite her good mood, the heroine still could not calmly listen to the reproaches addressed to her, she wanted to be left alone. Even when her only friend invited her to have lunch together, the heroine refused this offer, she now has no appetite at all. Ming Zhao immediately noticed the dejected state of the girl, he called the main boss and told how things were going with the new employee. And the billionaire, in turn, advised the guy to mind his own business, he could deal with the beauty on his own. In fact, sadness was hidden behind the calm expression on the man's face, he hoped that his beloved would no longer be so sad. Perhaps it was because of yesterday's situation with his ex-girlfriends that the hero called the girl and asked her to come to his office. The heroine doesn't mind, but only if she doesn't meet other workers along the way, she doesn't want to meet anyone. The billionaire promised that everything would be fine, Su Mo just needs to get into the elevator and go to the 43rd floor, where his office is located. After the girl arrived at the right place, she was immediately greeted by a rather rude woman who forbade her to go further. In response to this, the heroine politely said that she had come here at the personal request of the company president, the employee could ask him herself. Now the woman finally understood why the boss asked her to buy two portions of lunch at once, was this young lady really his beloved? Soon, Lisa walked up to them and kindly greeted Su Mo, after which she recommended that her colleague behave more politely in the future. A few seconds later, the heroine was already in Xiao Nan's office, he was delighted when he saw her and invited her to sit at the table with him. Without waiting for an answer, the hero carefully took the girl by the hand and led her along, he wanted to finally remove the sadness from her face. For this purpose, he specially bought two lunches at once, Su Mo decided to just do what was asked of her, then she would definitely be unharmed. At some point, the heroine overcame her fear and decided to ask the director directly about whether she could move to another house. The man reacted calmly to what he heard, he only asked her exactly his beloved was going to move. In fact, the girl did not want her colleagues to constantly spread rumors about her, but she told Xiao Nan that she just wanted to live closer to work. But suddenly, the billionaire agreed to comply with Su Mo's request, as soon as they finished their meal, he would ask Lisa to prepare everything for the move. However, this does not mean that in the near future the heroine will live alone, no one forbids a man to move to another place after her. After listening to another portion of gossip behind her back, the girl breathed a sigh of relief, because her work day was finally over and she was free. As soon as she got up from the table, her phone rang, the hero asked her to use a special elevator and go down to the underground parking. The man was already there and waited for his beloved, from today he was going to take her home from work every day to make it easier for her. Once at home, the girl immediately fell asleep, and when her phone rang, the man calmly picked up the phone and answered, it was Lu Xiaoqi. The friend blamed Su Mo in a very loud voice for sleeping for so long, and it also became clear that they should meet near the hotel in a few hours. The hero waited until Lu Xiaoqi calmed down and said that the heroine was still sleeping and was not going to go anywhere, even though it was almost noon outside. Hearing the young gentleman's voice on the phone, the girl decided to make fun of him and asked if he and the beauty had gone to karaoke together. The billionaire didn't find this funny and was going to hang up, if his friend had nothing else to talk about, he would mind his own business. In fact, Lu Xiaoqi has been wanting to tell the hero something for quite a long time, Su Mo is her only and best friend. If something happens to her, she will never let it go for nothing, 
even if the person who offended the heroine is the most influential and rich in the whole country. And in response to this, Xiao Nan promised the girl that in the future it would be he who would protect Su Mo with all his might, and there was definitely no need to worry about her. Sleeping Beauty woke up only a few hours later, but she still didn't feel very well. Meanwhile, the man was already getting dressed for work, at that moment he was just trying to button his shirt, the girl thought it was very beautiful. Suddenly she caught herself thinking that she had completely fallen in love with the hero, if this continued, then Su Mo would not be able to control herself. In order not to provoke the billionaire again, she tried to go into the bathroom as quietly as possible, but he immediately noticed her. The heroine is behaving too strangely again, besides, everything was fine with her yesterday, could it be that women's days have begun again? The girl still came to meet her friend, but due to a long sleep she was very late, so she had to apologize. Lu Xiaoqi got angry because of this, because she had been waiting for several hours already, they agreed to meet at exactly 10, and now it's already 12. In her defense, the heroine said that yesterday she had too many difficult things to do and she completely forgot about her promise. Su Mo knew her friend very well and how soft-hearted she was, in the end Lu Xiaoqi calmed down a little and they went to the store. Inside there were a lot of different outfits from the most expensive manufacturers, the beauties were wide-eyed at the assortment. After some time, the heroine saw a very beautiful handbag, but looking at the price tag, she was upset, because she couldn't afford the item. After that, a store employee immediately approached her and asked if she could help her with anything, she thought the handbag was an excellent choice. Unfortunately, Su Mo doesn't have that much money right now, so she politely replied that she didn't want to buy anything for now. Hearing this, the woman immediately changed her tone, now she behaved very rudely and recommended leaving this place if the girl had no money at all. Noticing the arrogant behavior of the worker, Lu Xiaoqi decided to stand up for her friend, why does a woman even allow herself to make such statements? Soon the girl threw the bag she was holding in her hands directly towards the consultant, in the future they will never return to their stupid store. Their argument continued for several more minutes, the heroine tried to calm her friend down, but due to her character, Lu Xiaoqi did not even listen to her. Soon the rivals calmed down a little, the store worker began accusing them of beating them, but they simply returned her bag. Such a statement really sounded very stupid, the girls simply did what the woman asked them to do, they simply didn't have enough money. In order to quickly resolve this conflict, Su Mo asked the consultant to behave more respectfully, otherwise they would lose her job. However, this method did not in any way affect the worker's behavior, she was not at all afraid of two strangers. In fact, she better think carefully about her words, because the heroine has a friend who really has enormous power. Suddenly, the girl heard familiar voices behind her, Xiao Yin and her friend entered the same store and discussed Su Mo's behavior. One of the scoundrels once again accused her of still calling herself a lady, because her family has long been dead and no longer has power. Apparently, the store employee knew them, so Xiao Ying and the second girl agreed to confirm the words about the beating. In the end, the heroine wanted to leave the store, she turned to her friend and asked if she still wanted to stay here. Lu Xiaoqi, in turn, was not going to just give up, she dialed Xiao Nan's number and suggested that she be patient for a while. First of all, the friend wanted to know what kind of relationship Su Mo and Xiao Ying were in, it turned out that they studied together in high school. Then the girl stood up for the heroine, because two scoundrels have no right to insult her, in fact, they don't even deserve to bring her shoes. In response to this, one of them invited Su Mo to talk about her lover, whom she met in a nightclub. According to her, the girl is so insignificant that she is not able to exist on her own, so she has to ask men for help. After that, the heroine finally ran out of patience and headed for the exit, but her friend asked her to stay for just a few seconds. After all, the show should start right now, it was at that moment that the general manager came to them and asked why it was so noisy in the main hall. The store worker assured the man in the house that Lu Xiaoqi had deliberately tried to beat her, and one of the scoundrels confirmed the woman's words. The impostors asked the man to hurry up and throw Su Mo and her friend out of the store as quickly as possible, they had no place here. The boss, in turn, behaved very calmly and asked the heroine what her name was, the girl, looking shot, tried to tell how everything really happened. However, this was not necessary, 
the manager bowed sharply and apologized for their terrible service, he was very sorry. Their establishment brought a lot of inconvenience to the heroine, but she should not draw hasty conclusions, the man will definitely explain everything in the future. The boss also accused the employee of performing her duties terribly, she may not come to work tomorrow. Besides that, Xiaoying and her friend no longer have special customer status in their store, this is what the management ordered, they should also leave. Of course, this outcome did not satisfy them at all, the manager should take a closer look to see if he really doesn't know who is in front of him. Suddenly Xiao Nan rushed into the store, the first thing he heard were words about Jiang and his family, who have been involved in real estate for several generations. The man came closer to Xiao Ying and asked her to confirm her friend's words, whether she was really the bride of the future owner of the family company. Hearing a positive answer, the hero took out his phone and ordered his assistant to stop all joint projects with the Jiang family. Because of this, the girl with pink hair began to have a panic attack, she tried to justify herself, but the man did not listen to her at all. Instead, he calmly approached his lover and asked why she never turned to him for help when she was humiliated. In fact, Su Mo just didn't want to bother Xiao Nan again, because he already has a lot to do, after all, he manages a huge organization. But Lu Xiao Qi saw this as an excellent opportunity, she hinted to the man that the heroine should be given a gift as an apology. The billionaire agreed and asked his lover if she liked the handbag, which was the reason for the recent conflict. At first the girl wanted to refuse, because the item was too expensive, but Lu Xiao Qi immediately intervened and said that it was an excellent choice. As a result, the hero turned to the store manager and asked to send all the bags from the new collection to his home, and he would pay in cash. Xiaoying still felt anxious and tried to settle the situation with her fiancé's company, Xiao Nan should listen to her explanation. Despite her requests, the man didn't even stop, he took Su Mo's hand and headed towards the exit of the store. The girl with rose hair could only shout after him that the hero had actually made a mistake in choosing his future wife. But in fact, only Xiao Ying made a mistake here when she dared to blame the heroine for the troubles that happened to her, Xiao Nan will not change her decision. In the end, due to the girl's arrogant behavior, her fiancé's company will suffer serious losses, she needs to figure out a way to fix everything. Meanwhile, the heroine, along with the others, went outside, she still could not understand how Xiao Nan found out where she was and what was happening to her. Three people were already waiting for them on the street, among whom was Ming Zhao, a famous actress and the hero's lawyer. As soon as the woman saw the billionaire holding Su Mo's hand, she immediately tried to attract the man's attention to her. She also really liked the bag that Xiao Nan bought for his lover a few minutes ago, Yi Yen thought it was a gift for her. The actress's behavior slightly upset the heroine, because she talked to the man as if she were a close friend, no one else could talk to him like that. Su Mo suddenly turned around and told her friend that they had better go home, and Lu Xiao Qi was very surprised by such a proposal. Apparently she will again have to stand up for her timid friend, she took the beautiful bag from the woman and said that it did not belong to her. After this, the actress politely apologized, since her birthday was coming soon, she took this item as an anniversary gift. In order to teach the heroine at least some self-respect, her friend hit the girl on the head, Su Mo needs to raise her self-esteem. The man asked Lu Xiaoqi not to hit his lover so much, in fact, the actress just wants to celebrate a special day with friends. And Su Mo is not obliged to give the woman her gift, the billionaire will call Lisa right now and ask her to organize a congratulation for Yi Yang. Now all that remains is to choose a place where they can all go together, first the lawyer suggested going to a club on a dark night as usual. The girl has very bad memories associated with this place, so as soon as she heard its name, she immediately began to panic. Xiao Nan noticed this and suggested that his friends consider other options, they don't have to go to the same establishment every time. A new billiards club had just opened nearby, Ming Zhao had not played this game for a very long time and invited the others to go there to have fun. The birthday girl didn't mind, so this decision became final, and this establishment even brought them free champagne as congratulations. Only now the man asked the waiters not to offer alcohol to his girlfriend, because she doesn't know how to behave when drunk. His behavior annoyed Yi Yen more and more, because in her opinion, the hero cares too much about Su Mo. After some time, 
the actress turned to the girl and asked how long she had been abroad and when she returned home. First of all, the heroine wanted to apologize to the woman for the lack of a gift, she simply did not have time to prepare it, because she did not know about the holiday. In fact, she doesn't have to worry about it, because such a popular woman has a ton of fans who would do anything for her. Among other things, the actress always believed that a gift is not the most important thing, first of all, you need to pay attention to the person who congratulates you. Thus, Yi Yen wanted to show the girl the incredibly beautiful necklace that Xiao Nan gave her for her last birthday. This thing was truly incredible, only now Su Mo realized that the man had known the actress for a very long time, at least several years. Since the hero is a financial tycoon, and the woman is famous throughout the world, they often had to meet, they met at a party. To get rid of her rival, Yi Yen recommended that the girl give up all her hopes, because the billionaire would not marry her anyway. Because of her uncertainty, Su Mo couldn't even answer, she just became embarrassed, and her face turned red and she didn't know what to say. Suddenly, Lu Xiaoqi approached them from behind, her friend had heard that the woman played billiards very well and she wanted to make sure of it. It is really very difficult to argue with this, but the actress did not want to play for no reason, in the end the beauty decided to play for stripping. Meanwhile, the heroine was sitting on the sofa and replaying Yi Yang's words in her head over and over again, she wanted to understand who she was for Xiao Nan. When the hero noticed a lonely girl sitting, he decided to cheer her up a little, they can go and learn to play billiards right now. The man always treated Su Mo with great care and love, but the difference in social status could greatly hinder their union. While playing billiards, Lu Xiaoqi asked the actress one question that had interested her for quite some time, it concerned her relationship with Xiao Nan. The girl wanted to know at what stage the woman and the billionaire are now, whether they plan to get married someday in the future. Frankly speaking, Lu Xiaoqi really hopes that Yi Yang will not try to take away someone else's property, there are quite a lot of other free men around. The actress appreciated the girl's perseverance, in her opinion, she is an excellent friend who is always ready to support Su Mo. After a while, Ming Chiaoyuan joined them, he had to be delayed due to a difficult patient, but now he is finally here. As soon as he opened the doors, Lu Xiaoqi suddenly ran up to him and knocked him down, it was incredibly strange, because they had never even met before. The doctor himself was shocked, a previously unknown girl just threw herself on his neck, while her breathing was ragged, and her whole face turned red with excitement, Lu Xiaoqi began to bombard the young man with questions about whether he had a girlfriend or a wife. At this moment, the girl was shaking in amazement, without waiting for an answer, she said that from now on Ming Chiaoyuan would belong exclusively to her. And the doctor, in turn, behaved absolutely calmly and asked the others to help him, because he had no idea why some stranger attacked him. Su Mo came first and pulled her friend to her feet, she should learn self-control, she can't just rush at people. At the same time, Lu Xiaoqi herself denied everything, in fact she is very reserved, she just just met the most beautiful man in the world. Ming Zhao was even a little upset, because he had never had such a situation when the beauty herself suggested that he start dating. A few hours later, everyone began to go home, and finally, Lu Xiaoqi asked Ming Chiaoyuan to call her back, they should go to a restaurant. Meanwhile, the heroine, as usual, wanted to sleep and yawned loudly, Xiao Nan wanted to take care of her first. It seems that the actress's plan was not very effective, the billionaire moved more and more away from her and paid attention only to Su Mo. Soon the girl and the man were at home, in the evening the beauty got inspiration and she picked up a pencil to create a model. The first thing that caught the hero's eye was her funny children's pajamas, his favorite ones that are already grown up, but sometimes continue to behave like a child. At some point, Xiao Nan became very interested and looked at what exactly Su Mo was drawing, it turned out that it was jewelry. Moreover, she is incredibly beautiful, only now the hero saw real talent in the girl, before that he did not even suspect her abilities. Now he couldn't restrain himself and literally took the drawing away from the heroine, he really wanted to take a closer look at the work of art. In her work, Su Mo combined European and American styles, but even now it seems to her that the jewelry is missing some details. Among other things, the billionaire was interested in the unusual symbol that stood in the lower corner of the picture, it looked like the letter M. Later, the girl explained that this is how she designates her works, in fact, 
this is her pseudonym, which, by the way, is universal. After all, he is understood almost all over the world, but the man, in turn, believed that it was much easier to use an English name. In fact, Su Mo's grandfather, who didn't really like foreign culture, was involved in this, so her parents didn't give her an English name. Suddenly the hero came close to his beloved and kissed her on the lips, while working, she seemed even sweeter to him than usual. After that, the man was about to go to the office, when he looked at the girl's drawing, he remembered one important thing. A few years ago, Xiao Nan bought an exclusive design from a French jewelry seller, and it had the exact same symbol as Su Mo's. Now the billionaire had no doubt that the heroine was the author of this masterpiece, maybe their meeting was destined by fate itself. He called his assistant and told him the good news, it seems they now have a great logo that will be the start of a new brand. For complete success, he only needs a special stand at the jewelry exhibition next year, this information must remain secret. Therefore, his secretary must keep his mouth shut, they will organize a press conference on the new brand, even his colleagues should not know anything. The heroine finished her work only the next day, but there was good news, she had a whole two-day weekend ahead of her. She wanted to have a good rest, so she planned everything in advance, she still has a lot to achieve, the daughter of the Su family doesn't want to disgrace herself. Just at that moment, Xiao Nan called her with another great news, the issue of her new home had already been resolved. It was just great, now the girl finally doesn't have to live in the same house with the director of the company, perhaps the dirty rumors will stop. In her joy, she completely forgot that the telephone conversation was still ongoing, Su Mo politely asked if the man had any other errands. It's better for her not to demonstrate her happiness for moving to the hero, it turned out that he really has a few more questions for the girl. This time the strict woman already behaved very politely towards her, she let the heroine into the billionaire's office without any questions. It was immediately clear from his face that Xiao Nan was very happy, in fact, this only alerted the girl. As soon as Su Mo came to the man, he asked her to wait a few more minutes, after which he went to the next room to get something. When he returned, he found his lover sleeping on the sofa, it looked like she had been working on her project all night and had not gotten much sleep. After some time, the girl began to mutter something under her breath, she was clearly dreaming about him, because of which she began to be very worried. It seemed to the girl that she was on a completely empty street late at night, none of her relatives were going to come to her aid. But when Xiao Nan touched her hand, Su Mo was suddenly transported to a beautiful field of purple flowers, where everything was very calm. Immediately after this, the heroine opened her eyes and wondered how she even managed to fall asleep right on the sofa in the office. In fact, the hero called her here so that they could look at the new house together, he just needs a little time to collect all the documents. The girl didn't mind, she nodded sweetly in response to the billionaire's proposal, she herself couldn't wait to look at the housing. Just as they are about to leave, the man's phone rings, one of his assistants informs him that an important person will soon arrive in the city. Despite the seriousness of the matter, Xiao Nen replied that he would not be able to meet his own sister in person. In this case, the hero's secretary promises to deliver the relative safe and sound, the boss can fully rely on him. And the girl was so impatient to look at the new house that she personally helped the billionaire put on his expensive jacket. Because of this, the hero began to wonder if his beloved really disliked living in the old place so much, in response to this she furiously nodded her head. A few minutes later they were already near the mansion, which in its scale surpassed even the previous one. Su Mo immediately liked this housing, in fact, she is ready to live in any house where the billionaire will not pursue her. That is why, when the man said that they would now live here together, she fell into a complete stupor. For some time the girl could not come to her senses as to what the phrase together actually meant, after all, from the very beginning she wanted to live separately. Having calmed down a little, the heroine finally realized that the billionaire had planned everything this way from the very beginning, just to mock her. But it seems she has no choice, now she is going to go to sleep in her bedroom, and the hero should under no circumstances approach her. Frankly speaking, even in such a situation, Su Mo was afraid that Xiao Nan would start pestering her, so she was very happy when she managed to sneak away to her room. To her great regret, everything turned out to be not so simple, when she pulled the handle of the front door, she discovered that the door was tightly locked. Is the man really such a merciless and cruel person, 
now she will have to go back for the key. After this, the evening passed quite calmly, and the next day the girl was able to get to her place of work on her own. One of her colleagues noticed the heroine's good mood and asked if she had won the lottery, in fact, it was better than money. At the same time, most of the workers continued to spread gossip, now they believed that the young lady had upset their director and he kicked her out. One woman even decided to sympathize with Sue M.O., she approached her and recommended that she not be upset about being separated from the billionaire. Although this was not the case, the girl decided to play along with them, this way she would be able to get along with her workmates faster. During lunch, the heroine decided to go to the nearest store and buy a few drinks so that they would treat her better. There were enough glasses of iced coffee for everyone, so she went to the 43rd floor and planned to hand one drink directly to Xiao Nan. The assistant warned the girl that she couldn't enter the director's office right now, but unfortunately Su M.O. didn't hear her. With an incredibly happy face, the beauty burst into the meeting room, holding a glass in her hands, only then did she realize that sometimes you can't just go to a billionaire, at that moment he was just participating in a very important meeting with the main managers of the company. The situation turned out to be so awkward that the heroine could not say a word for a few more seconds, she was completely speechless. Eventually, the silence became unbearable and Su M.O. couldn't think of anything better to do than say hello to everyone. Even despite such a stupid act, Xiao Nan was not angry with her at all, but instead smiled and asked her to come closer. Frankly speaking, her actions benefited absolutely everyone, at that moment the boss was just about to scold the main managers. At this point the meeting was over and the man went with his beloved to his personal office, he became interested in why she had come. The girl told it like it was, she wanted to treat him to iced coffee, besides, she felt lonely and had a desire to meet Xiao Nan. After that, they sat together for several minutes in complete silence, the hero and Su Mo huddled close to each other and listened to their heartbeats. However, after a while, the heroine got a little tired of it and wanted to leave, because she wasn't paid for hugging her boss. The billionaire, in turn, did not mind at all, lately he looked as if he was ready to do anything for the sake of his beloved. The next day, the girl woke up because of a phone call, she picked up the phone without looking and asked not to disturb her, because today was a day off. Su Mo just thought that her best friend was calling her, but in fact it was a complete stranger who quickly hung up. A few minutes later, a message came from that same number indicating the place and date of the meeting, it turned out to be in a cafe nearby. Inside the room, a young woman wearing dark glasses was sitting at one of the tables, it is quite possible that she was the one who called the heroine. The girl's guesses turned out to be correct, as soon as she came closer, the stranger called her by name and invited her to sit next to her. The woman behaved rather strangely and laughed constantly, this was not at all how she imagined her older brother's bride. The stranger turned out to be the same relative of the billionaire who had recently returned to the city, their acquaintance turned out to be very strange. Moreover, the woman was not going to be nice to the heroine, but quite the opposite, she warned the young lady about the danger, which Sue might bring upon herself if she does marry Xiao Nan, after this event her life will certainly change dramatically. After all, their family is one of the richest in the whole country, not everyone they meet can just become a member of it, this requires enormous efforts. The billionaire's sister behaved incredibly arrogantly, but now the girl did not want to quarrel with her, she simply asked to discuss this matter with Xiao Nan directly. Despite the polite tone of the heroine, the woman was very angry at what she heard, she perceived it as a threat against herself. And no matter how the girl tried to explain everything, the man's sister did not listen to her at all and continued to accuse Su Mo of all mortal sins. After a few minutes, she calmed down a little and headed for the exit, finally informing her that the heroine had one last chance to disappear. Otherwise, she is guaranteed to have problems, by the way, right now a man is accompanying Yi Yang to a prestigious award ceremony. Thus, the woman wanted to put the girl in her place, in her opinion, such a worthless woman cannot become a worthy wife for Xiao Nan. Soon evening came and the girl turned on the TV to watch the very same award ceremony where the billionaire would be shown. The famous actress won in the most prestigious category, at that moment she seemed to be the most successful and talented woman in the world. Just her alone apparently made the timid Su Mo sad, she repeated the words in her head over and over again that she was unworthy of a hero. At the end of the award ceremony, 
the presenters announced a special guest, of course, he was the owner of one of the most prestigious companies, Xiao Nan. When these two stood next to each other, they looked like an incredibly beautiful couple, after this event there will be even more rumors about their relationship. On stage, the man was asked to say a few words about his ward, after all, today she won the most prestigious award. After this, the hero made a rather short, but at the same time beautiful speech, in which he thanked all the spectators for choosing Yi Yang. In the end, Xiao Nan handed the award and a beautiful bouquet of red roses into the hands of the famous actress, congratulating her on her victory. Because of what she saw on TV, Su Mo was completely disappointed in herself, it seemed to her that competition with such a woman was completely impossible. The winner of the nomination herself also made her own speech, her words mainly concerned her relationship with the billionaire. Yi Yang's monologue ended with hopes for a happy life together with the man who was standing next to her at that moment. The crowd was delighted, the whole room wanted the movie star and the successful billionaire to finally officially get married. At this point the broadcast ended and the heroine immediately turned off the TV screen, she had not felt so lonely for a long time. Su Mo never managed to fall asleep, instead she lay in bed with her eyes open, anxiety did not let her go for a minute. At the same time, reporters appeared around Yi Yang and the hero, who really wanted to take a joint photo with them and interview them. One of the employees of a local TV channel asked the actress who she would thank first for help in her work. After just a few minutes, the man got tired of this activity and decided to simply leave, but the woman clearly did not want to let him go. So she followed him, and advised the reporters to contact her agency if they had job offers. While trying to catch up with Yi Yang, the actress tripped because of her high heels, if no one helped her, she would fall straight onto the hard floor. Fortunately, the billionaire got his bearings in time and grabbed Yi Yang. If he had hesitated even for a second, the evening would have been over for the woman. From the actress's behavior, it becomes clear that she is most likely doing this on purpose, because she wants as much attention as possible from Xiao Nan. Her plan had a great effect on those around her, all the spectators were crazy when they saw these two together, Meanwhile a taxi arrived at the event, in which Su Mo was just present, the first thing she saw was the hero hugging Yi Yang, apparently she shouldn't have appeared here. You just had to believe what was happening on TV and not go to the award ceremony, now the best decision would be to leave. In the end, the girl did just that, and the next day she packed her suitcase and was going to go to the nearest airport. When she was standing at a bus stop, she was suddenly approached by a guy in a car, who called her by name and offered to help with her luggage. The car was driven by none other than Jiang, he offered his old friend help, if the heroine needed to get somewhere, he would give her a ride. Su Mo couldn't believe her eyes, her ex-fiancé looked exactly the same as many years ago, when he is silent, there is always a gentle smile on his face, which always calmed the girl down, but now she didn't want to get even more upset, so she asked the guy to leave. Despite this, Jiang was determined, he ran out of the car and blocked the path of his ex-fiancée, he just wanted to ask something. Besides, you shouldn't worry so much, it won't take too much time, in the end the heroine agreed. At the same time, she couldn't believe that the guy remained the same ideal person as she remembered him, but now was not the time to think about it. Inside the car, the ex-boyfriend and girlfriend awkwardly looked at each other, while none of them dared to start a conversation. After some time, the young man finally broke the awkward silence and asked the heroine if he had met before. This question really surprised Su Mo, could it be that her ex-fiancé managed to forget about them in a relationship that lasted more than 10 years? Jiang, in turn, seemed to completely not understand what the girl was talking about, he remembered absolutely nothing about her. Such behavior can only be explained by a serious injury that the guy could have received as a result of a car accident or illness. However, the young man claimed that he had just recently been to the hospital for a checkup, the doctor said that he had no problems with his memory. In the end, Su Mo finally concluded that getting into the car with her ex-fiancé was a huge mistake, she wanted to get out right now. The guy didn't stop her, but he still wanted to know what kind of relationship there was between them, because the girl couldn't just dream about it. In fact, it didn't matter now, because Jiang was already engaged to another bride, so he shouldn't care. Despite all the heroine's convictions, her ex-fiancé still continued to stand his ground, if he asked, then it was important to him. 
The last time they saw each other, the girl called the guy by name, only the closest friends usually behave this way, this cannot be a coincidence. After these words, Su Mo ran out of patience and with tears in her eyes she told Jiang that they had always been together since childhood. But at the same time, we shouldn't forget that now it doesn't matter, if the guy doesn't remember anything about her, then let it remain that way. After that, the young man silently turned around and got into his car, to tell the truth, he wanted to say a lot of things, but decided to keep it to himself. The heroine's worst fears were confirmed, she once again began to feel emptiness inside herself, she would never return to the past. Returning home late at night, Xiao Nan found no one, suddenly a piece of paper lying on the table caught his eye. In it, Su Mo said that she would have to leave, she would return the rest of the long time later, unfortunately they would not be able to create a future together. However, this, of course, did not suit the billionaire, it seems that he gave his beloved too much freedom, and now he will have to look for it. The girl did not answer phone calls, apparently she had completely turned off her phone, because of this the man would not be able to find her using the bug. To speed up the process, the hero called all his assistants and organized a search, first of all, he needed to inspect airports and train stations. Some time later, Xiao Nen received a message on her phone with a picture of Su Mo and her ex-fiancé. Someone specially took this photo to slander the heroine, but the man did not know this yet and was very angry with the girl. The name of the hotel was also visible in the photo, so the man immediately went there to find his beloved. However, he was unable to find any clues, apparently she fled even without her own passport and other personal documents. On leaving the hotel, the hero's sister called and asked what happened to him, why he started calling all his subordinates. The woman also convinced her brother that he should not consider Su Mov as his wife, because she was completely unworthy of him. It was at this moment that Xiao Nan learned that the heroine was dating a relative, did the girl decide to leave precisely because of threats from her sister. Now it is very important for him to find out what exactly the woman said to Su Mo, perhaps this information will help him understand where exactly she ran away. It turned out that the heroine went to the cemetery where her grandfather was buried, she had wanted to visit him for a very long time. At this moment, old memories began to pop up in Su Mo's head and tears appeared in her eyes, as she wished she could see her family again. For the last few years, the girl has been haunted by sheer bad luck and she really misses her quiet life, when everything was easy and simple. In fact, she doesn't need any wealth or luxurious mansions, more than anything else, the heroine wanted to feel the love of her loved ones once again. Unfortunately, she understood that this was impossible, because of sad thoughts she cried for quite a long time, but you can't be sad all the time. Still, even now she has a person who helps her a lot and takes care of her with all his might, by the way, they met six whole years ago. A few seconds later, the girl suddenly heard some strange rustling from the bushes, she had already managed to imagine how ghosts were stealing her. Even as a child, the heroine was very afraid of various stories that are usually told to children so that they would obey their parents. However, it wasn't an ominous spirit hiding in the bushes, in fact, it was an ordinary guy who, for some reason, also came here at night. At the same time, Su Mo was so frightened that she decided to change her mind, she asked the stranger if he was definitely not an evil ghost. Now it was the guy's turn to ask his question, he wanted to understand why the girl came late at night to such a place, also alone. It turned out that the heroine had a half-brother who was lost many years ago, she could not even accurately remember his facial features. In fact, this man is her only surviving relative, Su Mo dreams of finding him and taking care of him for the rest of her life. After listening to the girl's monologue to the end, the stranger asked another short question whether she was telling the truth about her family. By an incredible coincidence of circumstances, that evening the half-brother and sister met, the guy had been trying to find his family for a very long time. When the heroine took a closer look at the stranger's face, she suddenly began to remember the very boy from whom she was separated as a child. She had never been so happy in her life, most likely fate itself brought these two together, now they finally have a family. Soon dawn came, brother and sister went to the city to think about their further actions, staying in the cemetery was very stupid. The guy looked at the heroine with an admiring look and asked if she, too, had run away from home to feel the true taste of freedom. 
It turned out that the young man was very tired of the unfair treatment that he constantly faces in his adoptive family. After listening to her brother, Su Mo thought about who was looking after Su Bang all this time, besides, they can't just leave without warning anyone. However, first of all, you need to find some kind of shelter, because at this time of year it is still too cold outside, the guy suggested going to the girl's house. Unfortunately, Su Mo was now in a very difficult situation and did not want to go back, why don't the young man return to his place? These words hurt Su Bang very much and he called his sister a liar in a loud voice, at that moment all his hopes for a reunion collapsed. He turned around and was about to run away, and the girl tried her best to stop him, suddenly a small stone appeared under her feet, over which she tripped and fell to the ground, the young man felt sorry for his relative and he stopped to help her. The stupid boy behaved too impulsively, because the heroine hasn't even finished yet, she just doesn't have the documents with her right now. It is for this reason that they will not be able to rent an apartment or hotel room, for some time they need to return to their previous life. Even if they stay together, his brother will constantly freeze on cold nights, Su Mo does not want this outcome at all. At the same time, the guy behaved as if returning to a foster family was worse than any torture for him, he was ready to do anything to be reunited with his sister. Every time a young man looks at his adoptive parents, I remember memories from the past, when he had a real and loving family. He also doesn't want to use other people's money, at these moments he feels especially bad, as if he is ruining other people's lives. These words finally convinced the girl that her little brother was very stupid, and there was no need to take everything so personally. If Su Bang really wants to stay by her side that badly, then so be it, but they need to get some money first. The billionaire, meanwhile, stood on the bridge and thought about where he should start looking for his beloved, he spent the whole night on this. But unfortunately, he did not achieve any results, even detailed searches of all hotels and airports did not help him find the heroine. After a while, Ming Jiaoyi called him and suggested that he drink some alcohol tonight, but now is not the time for such a thing. After listening to his boss's explanation, the guy with red hair suggested that he look for Su Mo's relatives, maybe this would help. At this moment, Xiao Nan felt as if he had received an electric shock, despite the obviousness of such an idea, it had never occurred to him before. Within a few minutes, he managed to find out where the parents and other relatives of his beloved were buried, the cemetery was nearby. Looking at the girl's childhood photographs, the billionaire suddenly realized something important, it seems that he met her not even six years ago, but much earlier. The man lost his mother while still a child, she was a famous actress who, for unknown reasons, committed suicide. As a little boy, he often went to his favorite park and sat under a tree, where he tried to understand why his mother left so early. It was at this place that a girl with dark long hair approached him for the first time, wondering why Xiao Nan was crying. Little Su Mo wanted to sincerely help the sad boy, but he acted very rudely towards her and did not want to talk about anything. Even so, the girl took out a candy from a small pocket and invited Xiao Nan to eat it, perhaps it would cheer him up. It was on this sunny summer day that they met for the first time, the future billionaire had difficulty remembering such long ago events. But they were still forever imprinted in his mind, and within a few hours he received a call from the police and was informed that the runaway girl had been found. Law enforcement officers found her completely by accident and wanted to find out why she was with a child who had run away from home. In her defense, the heroine told the whole truth, in fact, they are relatives who were separated in early childhood. However, the police did not believe her, even if this was true, it is still impossible to take the child away without the permission of the guardians. In the end, law enforcement officers concluded that Su Mo had actually kidnapped Su Bang, and now his adoptive parents would deal with her. After some time, the billionaire's personal lawyer came to the department, the man specifically sent him to help his beloved. Thanks to this man, who is an excellent specialist in his field, the girl was able to be released within a few hours. After this, the heroine again thought about why she couldn't defend herself, suddenly someone grabbed her hand. It turned out that Xiao Nan had been standing nearby all this time and was waiting for the moment when his beloved finally went outside, he would never lose her again. He Returning home, the hero immediately locked the girl in a separate room, just like that time in the nightclub, he was tired of the beauty's antics. Su Mo struggled to get out, 
she knocked loudly on the door and called the billionaire a scoundrel, why did he treat her like that? After some time, the girl had no strength left and tears appeared in her eyes, now in a calm voice she asked the man to open the door. After all, in this empty room she feels very lonely and scary, can Xiao Nan really withstand such torment of her mistress? The billionaire, meanwhile, stood right next to the door and tried his best to restrain himself, in fact, he really wanted to let Su Mo out. However, first of all, he wanted to teach the beauty a lesson so that next time she would think carefully before leaving him. Every cell of the hero's body was tormented by pain when he thought about the loss of his beloved, but how to hold her without causing excruciating pain. Now he is ready to endure any trials, if only the girl remains next to him, otherwise life will turn into hell for him. The heroine had to sit in an empty and dark room for several more hours, during which time she thought about why her life was so difficult. Fortunately, the billionaire finally took pity and opened the door, after which he took Su Mo by the hand and tried to lift him to his feet, his face calm. Without saying a word, Xiao Nan dragged the girl to the second floor into his bedroom, after which he confidently laid her on a soft bed. Only then did the heroine realize that the man was very drunk, he smelled very strongly of alcohol, he had never brought himself to such a state before. Because of this, the heroine was very frightened and began to cry, she did not know what to expect from the billionaire, all this could end very badly. In the end, due to enormous anxiety and powerlessness, the girl covered her face with her hands, despite her fears, absolutely nothing happened to her. Seeing the horror of his beloved, the hero simply stopped and tried to get to his feet, his whole body staggering from the amount of drink. After that, he went down to the first floor and went out to the backyard, Xiao Nan actually had too much that evening, which made his stomach hurt. The man had not felt so bad for a very long time, at some point the hero asked himself how he brought himself to such a state. A few hours later he became so ill that he had to call an ambulance, fortunately he was fine, he just needed to rest a little. Despite the doctor's good prognosis, Ming Xiao was still worried about his boss, what if he died? Ming Xiaoyuan tried his best to calm his friend down, there was no point in worrying about it, the man would be able to go home very soon. The guy with red hair threatened the director and said that if he didn't come to his senses, his company would go bankrupt in a month. His method turned out to be surprisingly effective, immediately after this the billionaire opened his eyes and tried to understand what had happened to him. The man's lawyer was very serious, he was upset by the fact that the hero, knowing about his stomach problems, was so neglectful of his health. In fact, the hero himself understood this very well, so he did not answer anything, at that moment his body was controlled only by emotions. Ming Zhao also could not understand why his boss acted so stupidly, at this rate his entire successful career would go into oblivion. And the billionaire, in turn, asked why the chief manager of the jewelry department was still not at work, it was already 10 o'clock. The young man took these words as an excellent insult, does the man really have no conscience, after all, he came here specifically to support him. After this, the hero asked about his beloved, it turned out that she was also in the hospital, because yesterday she managed to break her right leg. Ming Chiaoyuan, thanks to his connections, was able to find out exactly where Su Mo was, after making a couple of inquiries, it became known that she was in ward number 0523. The information turned out to be completely true, having found the right room, Xiao Nan found the heroine there, who was sleeping peacefully at that time. It was clear from her satisfied face that she was dreaming some very pleasant dream, the billionaire hopes that he is at least indirectly present in it. Soon the man crawled under the blanket with the girl, and because of this she opened her eyes and looked at him with a surprised look. First of all, she wondered why the hero fell asleep in just a couple of seconds, to check this, she poked him with her finger several times. It turned out that the billionaire was just pretending, in fact, he didn't even intend to fall asleep, he just wanted to mock Su Mo as usual. And now he wants to hear an explanation from his beloved, she never told him why she suddenly decided to leave him and run away. If suddenly he is not satisfied with the heroine's arguments, then he is ready to lock her in a prison cell for the rest of her life, this is still better than losing the love of her life. It was at this awkward moment that Lu Xiao Qi came into their room and laughed when she saw the position in which she was able to see her friends. The situation was indeed very dramatic and tense, 
the friend even wanted to go out for a while to wait for a more suitable opportunity. Su Mo tried to take advantage of the moment and asked Lu Xiao Qi to call the police as soon as possible, right now she was being harassed by a pervert. However, despite all her requests, her friend simply went about her business, she decided that it was better not to disturb two loving hearts. Fortunately, after that the billionaire calmed down a little and sat down on the bed, now they could finally talk normally. First of all, the heroine wanted to hear an apology from the man for locking her in an empty and dark room last night. And the hero, in turn, was not going to be the first to apologize, because he still remembered that incident at karaoke when the beauty almost ate him. If you look at these two situations from the outside, we can conclude that Xiao Nan and the girl are even. Suddenly, the billionaire gently touched Su Mo's face with his hand and suggested that she start over while they still have the opportunity. If they forget about what happened between them six years ago, as well as all their scandals and quarrels, they can get a chance at true love. In fact, the girl was already ready to agree, but she was still tormented by a feeling of jealousy towards the famous actress. At this moment, the hero finally understood why his beloved ran away from home, he will resolve this issue today. Frankly speaking, he had long suspected that there was a disagreement between Yi Yang and the heroine, Su Mo would have asked about her anyway. The girl should not doubt the sincerity of Xiao Nan's words, it's just that once upon a time he promised a loved one to take care of the actress. It turns out that their relationship is just a coincidence, apparently the rumors are not true, how complicated everything is. But this is not the only mistress that the media attributes to the billionaire, he probably has a lot of them. In fact, all these rumors are complete fiction, TV channel workers earn their salaries from this. If Soom Go believes the man, then he promises to take care of her until the end of his days, he will never allow himself to be betrayed. Being with his beloved woman is a real blessing, the billionaire is ready to sacrifice all his fortune for the sake of the heroine. In that case, Su Mo is ready to accept his offer, but she is interested in another question, will a man take care of her when he is sick? Above this Xiao Nan questioned a little thought, he is of course ready to give attention his beloved, but he also has other work matters. As a result, they agreed to at least try to start everything from scratch, if the man hasn't lied even once today, then they might even have a chance. Meanwhile, in a successful organization, things were not going very well, due to the lack of the main director, it fell on Ming Zhao too much work. The hero spent several days in the hospital and still doesn't want to leave there, the guy is scared to even think about it, how far behind schedule they are. On the third day, the man finally left the hospital with the heroine, he carried her in his arms, as if they were having a wedding. A huge crowd of fans gathered around them, who dreamed that the billionaire would carry them in his arms in the same way. Ming Chiaoyuan advised the girl to take care of her health, because the injury she received turned out to be much more serious than it might seem at first glance. The doctor also prescribed her a special medicine that needs to be taken for some time, it is especially important to follow the correct dosage. Tonight, Xiao Nan really wanted to get together with his friends at the nightclub, so he asked Ming Chiaoyuan to write about it to everyone. Once upon a time, a man told the doctor about that same little girl who showed sincere kindness towards him. Now Ming Chiaoyuan finally understands the hero's true motives, if he really wants to find a lifelong partner, then Su Mo is the best choice. In order not to leave the girl alone in a huge mansion, the owner of the house asked his aunt to look after her until her injury healed. The woman's name was Aunt Wu, she acted very nicely and offered to make the heroine her signature chicken soup for lunch. These calm days seemed to Su Mo to be the best time in the last few years of her life, she could lie quietly and do whatever she wanted. Suddenly, her best friend spoke to her, it turned out that she had quietly crept up to the heroine on tiptoe in order to scare her properly. First of all, Lu Xiaoqi wanted to make sure that the billionaire was not at home right now, after all, they needed to discuss one very important issue. Namely, a gift for a man for the new year, the heroine must prepare something special in order to demonstrate the full strength of her feelings. However, in reality, Su Mo didn't even think about it, she still has no idea what the billionaire's hobby or interests are. It was painful for my friend to hear about this, because this is a great opportunity to please Xiao Nan and make him happy for a few days ahead. After thinking a little, the girl radically changed her attitude towards the New Year's gift, now she is really interested in it. But unfortunately, 
at the moment she has absolutely no money, during her escape, she gave her few savings to the hero, the gift does not have to be expensive, the heroine can simply give herself to the man, he will certainly be in seventh heaven. From what she heard, Su Mo felt a strong sense of embarrassment, her whole face turned red and she asked her friend not to say that again. Towards evening, the billionaire returned to his new mansion and noticed his beloved sitting in a chair and drawing something on a canvas. At that moment, it seemed to the man that there was no one better than this girl in the world, if he lost her, he would never forgive himself. Su Mo painted herself as she was six years ago, when she still didn't want to leave her hometown. Suddenly, a sad thought appeared in Xiao Nan's head that if he had not let her go that day, they could have become husband and wife back then. However, there was no point in such mental torment, because the past, as we know, cannot be changed, there are no ifs in this world. It was really difficult to argue with this, the hero understood everything perfectly, he just wanted to remember the old days. Fate itself brought them together for the third time, they were clearly destined for each other by some higher power. During one of the breakfasts, the girl suggested that the hero throw a nice Christmas party to which he could invite many friends. The billionaire liked this idea and immediately agreed, and he also became interested in who the heroine was going to invite. In fact, Su Mo only had one good friend, but Xiao Nan has quite a lot of them, they can all spend the holidays together. Lately, the hero has changed so much that he was ready to agree to anything if only his beloved would enjoy it. Several weeks flew by unnoticed and it was time to decorate the Christmas tree, the girl had loved this activity since childhood. But the director of the company, meanwhile, was very angry, at one of the meetings he was terribly upset by the results that brought him. He couldn't understand why the managers thought they could just come here and do whatever they thought of. The workers were sitting at the table with very sad looks, and their hands were shaking with fear of the strict boss, suddenly his phone rang. The heroine sent him a cute photo, which showed a beautiful Christmas tree, and she asked the man to return home as soon as possible. The decoration of the holiday tree was almost completed, only the last detail remained, a large star should be lying somewhere nearby. However, Su Mo was unable to find it for quite a long time, she had already searched almost the entire house, but the trinket was nowhere to be found. Xiao Nan quietly approached her from behind and handed the star directly into her hands, at first, she didn't even understand who exactly was standing behind her. And when the heroine raised her head up, she was seriously scared, the billionaire still had to be in the office for several hours. She wondered why the hero returned so early, was his company doing so well that the director could take time off. Previously, the man warned his beloved that she should not move too much, but she, contrary to his requests, decorated a huge Christmas tree. This time he is ready to forgive her, but next time she may no longer hope for the man's leniency, she will have to be punished. Su Mo urgently needed to calm the hero down somehow, suddenly she remembered that there was a bag of sweets right next to her. Inside were the same candies that the girl had given to the sad boy who was sitting under the tree many years ago. Old memories came flooding back to the billionaire and he fell into a stupor for a few seconds, after which he asked if his beloved gave these sweets to anyone else. Well, of course, the girl does not remember such old events, after all, she was only three years old then, as a result, Xiao Nan asked not to give such candies to anyone else. After all, for him they have a special meaning, they are not just sweetness, but sincere manifestations of kindness and care. Soon evening came and guests came to them, Lu Xiao Qi was the most happy, she even bought a cute Christmas suit. The friends had not seen each other for only a few days, but they had already missed each other very much, they laughed like little children. Two women also came to the celebration, a famous actress and the sister of a billionaire, saw the light outside and thought that they were in the wrong place. The other guests were not very happy to see these two, in fact, they did not know that they were also invited to the party. The hero's sister immediately noticed this and was indignant, it seemed that no one present wanted to talk to them. Su Mo tried to rectify the situation and calm the woman down, she just didn't know that Xiao Nan had invited his sister and a famous actress here. Unfortunately, her efforts were in vain, the billionaire's relative was even more indignant, because in her opinion she could come here whenever she wanted. As usual, her friend stood up for the heroine, it was funny for her to watch how an adult woman tried to humiliate a timid and insecure girl. In order not to disturb the others, 
the beauties went out into the backyard together to finally resolve their conflict. Yi Yang claimed that her friend did not want to offend anyone, so her friends should not take her words too seriously. The argument could have ended there, suddenly a man approached them from behind, he asked if all these young ladies were really waiting for him. It was Ming Xiaoyuan, Lu Xiaoqi called him handsome as usual and immediately rushed to his neck, she seemed obsessed with this guy. Her gaze showed incredible affection, the girl even thought that the doctor had become a little more handsome since their last meeting. It turned out that the billionaire's sister had been interested in Ming Xiaoyuan for a long time, it seems that the two could become bitter rivals in the future. However, the girl didn't even take the threat and the woman seriously, what does she have to do with her handsome guy, it's better for her to just leave. The doctor, in turn, asked Lu Xiaoqi to calm down a little, they will still have time to chat in private, but now he wants to say hello to the others. The girl is ready to let her handsome man go only on the condition that he gives her his mobile phone, she needs to check something. Apparently the guy had no other choice, so he still had to give his thing into the hands of the crazy beauty, but what does she want to do with it? In fact, in this way, Lu Xiaoqi wanted to get Ming Xiaoyuan's number, and also see if he had any other fans. Soon all the guests moved into the house and began to dance, the owner himself was not among them yet, so Su Mo followed him upstairs. Xiao Nan was in his room all this time and came out to the girl only after she knocked on the door on her own. First of all, he wanted to understand why his beloved again looked so unhappy, whether he could correct her bad mood. The main reason was the presence of the billionaire's sister, the heroine has nothing against her, but the woman behaves too arrogantly. From one glance it became clear that she still felt a strong dislike for Su Mo, and besides, the girl did not know how to fix it. The man advised the heroine to simply ignore everyone who makes her sad, and he also promises to always be by her side and help. Next on the plan was a barbecue, the beauty in a Christmas suit had not eaten all day, so she was looking forward to her well-done steak. All she needed to be completely happy was leeks, so she politely asked Aunt Wu to bring her a few. But Xiao Nan didn't really like this idea, because how could he then kiss the heroine if her breath smelled like onions? Can't the hero behave normally at least on this day, why does he constantly think about such things, after all, there are a lot of friends around. Apparently the billionaire was simply incorrigible, his love for Su Mo was so strong that he did not notice anyone around him. A little later, it began to snow outside, Su Mo immediately remembered the times when she had to celebrate this holiday alone in France. It was also snowing there at that time, but then it only made the girl feel lonely, and she even stopped liking Christmas. Fortunately, this year everything changed dramatically, after meeting Xiao Nan, a white streak finally began in her life. A caring man asked his lover if she would like to try shrimp, hearing a positive answer. He cleaned her especially for Su Mo and was about to feed her, but suddenly their sweet meal was interrupted by the billionaire's sister. The woman called the heroine shameless and ordered her to immediately move away from her brother, while she looked incredibly irritated. The hero's relative ran up to the girl and pushed her to the floor, causing Su Mo to hit her back against the hard tiles with all her might. The hero immediately rushed to her aid, he quickly picked her up and asked how she was feeling, fortunately nothing serious happened to the beauty. The girl was only frightened by surprise, she, of course, knew about the woman's prejudiced attitude, but it is simply impossible to predict this. Xiao Nan became very angry with his sister and ordered her to immediately apologize to his lover. In response to this, Xue Tong stated that her brother should not raise his voice at a family member because of some girl who is not even his wife. Yi Yen took the side of her friend, she also thought that the owner of the house was too disrespectful towards his relative. The hero, in turn, calmed down and tried to calmly explain everything, Su Mo is his beloved woman, so no one has the right to harm her. However, Xue Tong still continued to stand her ground, she could not understand how an ordinary stranger from the street could win the heart of her brother. The woman's rude behavior went beyond all limits, so even the actress tried to calm her down, if it continues, there will be a real scandal. Unfortunately, the man's sister didn't even listen to her own friend, she would never recognize the heroine and will always consider her worthless. If Xue Tong is really telling the truth, then from today the hero no longer wants to call her sister, tomorrow she must fly to the United States of America. The woman simply couldn't believe it, 
all her arrogance disappeared in an instant and she asked Yi Yang for help. The actress ran up to Xiao Nan and tried to justify her friend, in fact, she was just a spoiled child and did not understand what she was talking about. This was a great opportunity to attract attention, Yi Yan was still confident that she had a huge advantage in the fight for a man. But this time the billionaire behaved somehow differently, he silently looked at his friend and seemed to be waiting for her to say something else. His gaze was indeed different, suddenly the thought flashed through the woman's mind that Xiao Nan had revealed her true intentions. In the end, the actress concluded that the hero now completely belongs to Su Mo, he really loves her very much. Now Yi Yang had only one way out, but in order to attract the attention of a billionaire in such a situation, she would have to switch sides. She approached Xue Tong and recommended that she ask her brother for forgiveness, so the actress wanted to make a good impression. Although the man's sister did not want to do this, she still had to step over her principles, because she did not want to go to another country. As a result, the woman made an innocent face and slowly approached her brother, after which she asked him for forgiveness in a gentle voice. Despite this, Xiao Nan continued to look at his relative with a very stern look, it seemed that he would never forgive her. Suddenly the heroine spoke to him and persistently advised him to forgive Xue Tong, there was no point in alienating loved ones. To finally resolve the conflict, the girl explained the billionaire's feelings instead, he was not at all angry with his own sister. Even after this, the woman still looked at Su Mo with a disapproving gaze, but she also decided to take the chance and thanked her brother for his leniency. At this moment, the heroine suggested that they could finally become real friends, she offered Xue Tong a piece of meat. Unfortunately, in response she heard only another rudeness, the billionaire's sister was not going to eat some kind of rubbish from the hands of a stranger. As a result, a stick with a well-done steak ended up on the floor, the girl could not believe that there were such evil people. She needs to finally grow up and understand that if she constantly gives in to everyone around her, she will always suffer in the end. The actress, meanwhile, stood on the side and watched with pleasure what was happening, thanks to her abilities, she was again able to turn the situation in her direction. Su Mo wanted to be alone, so she complained of a headache and said that she needed to go away for a while. Of course, the hero could once again help her get out of a difficult situation, but his beloved needs to gain life experience on her own. It turned out that the rest of the guests were watching an interesting performance from the bushes, Lu Xiaoqi was sure that her friend would absolutely cope. After all, despite her cute appearance, inside she is a very strong and kind person, such a little thing will never break her. To finally consolidate her success, Yi Yan decided to make another move, it seemed to her that this was an excellent opportunity to lure Xiao Nan to her side. The actress pretended that she felt very bad, her friend decided to play along with her and grab the woman's hands, this was necessary so that they would stay the night in the mansion. However, such stupid tricks don't work on the billionaire, so he was going to call his assistant, who will take his sister and Yi Yang to the hotel room. A few hours later, all the guests began to go home, they did not want to take up too much time from the loving couple. Lu Xiaoqi recommended that her friend spend the night well, and Su Mo, as usual, became embarrassed and asked her not to say such nonsense. When they were alone, Xiao Nan hugged his beloved tightly, but at the same time tenderly, today he is immensely happy. The girl felt exactly the same pleasant feeling inside herself, she would really like this moment to last forever. After this, the events moved forward several weeks, one early morning the heroine received a letter, it was an invitation to a wedding. When Su Mo opened the envelope and read the contents, her mood instantly soured, she turned around abruptly and went to the bathroom. Finding herself alone, the girl sat down on the floor and sat in this position for quite a long time, the contents of the letter hurt her very much. Inside was a photo of her ex-fiancé Jiang and his new bride, a former classmate deliberately sent this invitation to humiliate Su Mo. Despite the fact that the past was already many years old, the heroine still had feelings for this man, it was very painful for her to realize that he had left for someone else. Aunt Wu very quickly reported the girl's bad mood, because of this, Xiao Nan returned from work much earlier and went to the second floor. Having opened the door to the bathroom, the man immediately noticed a small piece of paper, and when he picked it up, he understood why his beloved was upset. In fact, Su Mo just realized that love is a much more fragile thing than she imagined, 
it is a very important and responsible feeling. And the billionaire, in turn, was not at all jealous of the heroine, he sat down with her on the cold floor and pressed her to him, she shouldn't worry about it. Instead, the girl should go shopping right now and choose the best outfit that will impress all the wedding guests. The very next day, Lu Xiaoqi had to forcefully drag her friend out of the house, she really needed to buy new clothes. Does Su Mo really not want to put Xiaoying in her place, the girl simply has to choose a stunning outfit for herself and surprise everyone. In addition, she has a very good figure, which makes almost any clothes look good, and this cute blue dress suits her perfectly. It was difficult to take your eyes off such a beauty, even the store worker confirmed this, such an outfit seemed to be created especially for the heroine. However, there was still one problem, looking at the price tag, the girl saw a six-digit number, she definitely couldn't afford such funds. Therefore, she decided that she did not have many reasons to wear such a beautiful outfit, it was better to look at something simpler. Suddenly, the friends heard a familiar voice behind them, they turned around and found Xiao Ying, Jian's future wife was choosing a dress here. The girl made an innocent face and greeted her former classmates, she considered it an incredible coincidence that they met here. And Lu Xiaoqi, in turn, did not believe a single word of the scoundrel, most likely, she deliberately came to the same store. A few minutes later, her future groom came to see the bride, which made Su Mo want to go somewhere else, so she decided to change clothes. It turned out that Jiang had heard about the heroine's health problems, he was very worried about her and wanted to know how she was feeling now. But the girl didn't see any point in this conversation, why the guy still thinks about her, her well-being should in no way worry him. Immediately after this, Xiao Ying ran up to the heroine and pushed her back, the bride thought that Su Mo was trying to seduce her groom. Jiang himself came to her defense, he tried to reassure his girlfriend, had her stupid antics really brought her enough problems. Now nothing was holding the heroine here, she wanted to go home as quickly as possible, she completely didn't want to go to the wedding. After all, she will feel nothing but humiliation at this event. Xiaoying originally invited her to mock her properly. 